Sounds like nonsense. Nonsense. Sounds like nonsense. Now that sounds like nonsense. That sounds like nonsense. Sounds, sounds like, like nonsense. nonsense. You know what to that me. sounds like? Sounds, sounds like, like nonsense. nonsense. That sounds like sounds nonsense. Like sounds like nonsense. Is this what it's gonna sound like? Sounds like nonsense. 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 It's nonsense. And it sounds like this. Oh boy. Someone just called out. Oh, Someone no. called out. <laughs> Last minute too, wow. Mr. Jeff. Wow. So now here we are. Who's got something witty to say? No. Hey, guys. <laughs> I do not. I it's do already not. been decided that I am not the funny one. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? Oh, I. Uh, you told many people that yesterday. No. Oh. No. <laughs> one person. This is <laughs> how we air out our laundry. Yeah. <laughs> damn. Okay. She's been holding that one in since yesterday. I really haven't. I really haven't. Are you going to keep touching that mic? Should we stop? Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hold on. Just pause. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what a difference. Oh, what a difference. <laughs> what a difference. Yeah. So, no, it was cool, though. Yesterday, um, someone said they were in a hospital. Um, like maybe be paralyzed and our show brought her joy during that time oh that's yeah, right that was really cool and then i said courtney was not funny <laughs> uh, and i agreed i'm not do you think <laughs> you're funny um anyways <laughs> uh do you think she's telling the truth yeah she, she see- said it she said it twice it, it was sup- like yeah, because she didn't know who we were, you know. And then, because the person that gave it to her, yeah, it's so not looks down on us that I'm surprised <laughs> that he would give it to her to no. listen to. Well, clearly he doesn't. Maybe yeah. he just does that to fuck with you. Oh, maybe. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, yeah. Normally uh, we would have Jeff here, yep. but um, yeah, he he's working on his house and he just beat himself up. So whatever, he deserves a break. He too. deserves a break. Should I say his name anyways when we do the thing? Yeah, yeah. Marshall. Well. Okay, well then, welcome to the Sounds Like Nonsense podcast, everyone. I am your host, Jeb. On the number twos, we have Mr. Will Ridge. Hello, everybody. And then sitting on the couch with my beautiful wife, Sportney. Hi. And then we normally have the illustrious Mr. Rally, the Jair, the Chef, Slick Big Dick, a.k.a. the Convertible Man, the Great Uncle, also known as Delicious Jay, the Line Stepper, a.k.a. Mr. Pinky Toe, the Slither D, Mr. His Terms, the Leg Man, <laughs> Fish Fucker, the Blowhole, Mr. Livestream, he puts the hot in yoga, he's the key master of the kiss fought and blew all the way through, I know he said some crazy shit, and he wants you to suck his fucking balls, but he's our own personal sex bomb. His name is Jeff. It's getting too much, Jeff. It's, it's too much. I'm the only one clapping. Well, oh. because I'm like, okay, there's too fine. many names. I mean, pretty much it's going to be... Should I just start cutting them out and just yes. keep the new ones? Yes. Did you know, What was the new one this week? A uh, blowhole? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because he's talking about licking your blowhole or something yeah. last week. So. I don't know. Um, um, so those of you that are new to the podcast, what we do each week is uh, we talk a lot of shit. We uh, play some music, new music, and we talk to people that surround themselves with music the same way that we do. So who is ready for some new fucking music? I it. am. Courtney, Let's who do it. we have on the show this week? We have the band Card Reader with their song Reminder. We also have the Aqua Dolls um, with their song Crybaby, and we have an interview with them, which I'm excited about. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then we have Souls Extolled, Ride of My Life. Yep. That it, sounds pretty cool. Yeah. No, it is cool, man. Souls extolled. Yes. Yeah, I listened to all this shit this morning. I was stoked on it. And mm-hmm. I actually um, watched the Aqua Dolls. They have a little documentary on their um, on their website. Cool. I think it's aquadolls.com or something mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> something really obvious. Uh, but yeah, it was cool. So I'm excited to talk to them. Now I feel like I know them a little bit after oh. watching that. Awesome. So cool. Um, before we get into our weekly standouts, I think we need a calendar read. Oh, that's right. You know? Find out what it. today is. Yeah. Because everybody knows what yesterday was. Well, what was yesterday? Dun, 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 dun. Your birthday? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So let's go February 20. I think, did I already read it? Uh, because I I think I. Well, today's the 20th. And it, and this probably won't come out till like the 30th. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. But All right. The, 30, the 30th of February. All right. Yep. Uh, that's when it, <laughs> just that leap year. <laughs> Here we go for Sunday, February 20th, 2022. It's a picture of a mama, polar bear, and two little baby cubs. Aww. I do not struggle alone in the wilderness of life. Whenever I need help, I ask. <laughs> that's it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thanks, What's, Jeff, for your shitty calendar. <laughs> uh, whenever I need help, I ask. Hey, yeah, hey though, there are people right. who do not ask for help. Like, they refuse, and that is something that is, you need to, to ask for help when you need it. So, okay. I ask a lot. 
Yes, you do. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to... Uh, this, you want to try the spooky one? We're going to try the spooky one. All right. This All is right. easy, too. This All is, right. This is both my birthday and Saturday, or and today. Okay. All right. Oh, I read this one. Oh, you did. Monsters are real, and ghosts are real, too. They live inside us, and sometimes they win. Yeah. Stephen I don't like King. How, mm-hmm. I don't like how it didn't rhyme mm-hmm. at the end. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. All hey, right. I don't know why you pre-read, though. You're get, No, you're he getting, already read that on the last episode. Yeah. Why? Because we're talking about monsters and ghosts, if they're real. I okay. said they are real. Stephen King said so. That's true. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, some standouts then. <laughs> I guess normally Jeff would be first, but let's go straight to Will. You had your birthday. That is right. Yeah, I had a great birthday. It was low and sweet. I don't know what that means. It was uh, <laughs> mellow. It oh, was yeah. mellow. Okay. And uh, we were out of the winery. It was gorgeous. We usually don't have good weather on my birthday. It was few people that came out and it was just really mellow and i enjoyed it very it, much it didn't smell like shit this year did smell like shit as bad and i did smell a little shit did you but it wasn't as bad uh we had a <laughs> i don't know why we, that's you know it's so crazy what we're really telling the truth and people are going what the fuck <laughs> you, know? <laughs> like, you're, you know what i mean yeah i mean last year was bad though. but the spot is above the sewer yeah line. yeah that, that's why we're saying that. that's why we're saying i could just what the fuck? your friend works there so he always hooks you up with the oh. really nice spot <laughs> yeah but it was it is nice it is nice because it's away from the rest of the whole winery yeah place. Right. So, so then we can talk about Will getting naked and trying to whip raccoons with a belt. Well, oh, you guys exist. were like showing your underwear too, like the uh, new the well, new underwear. Cock pockets. I got cock pockets now mm-hmm. in my mm-hmm. underwear, which actually really changed my life. Yeah, and that was just in two hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it just it just really went from like my whole life just changed. It was crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. you put the balls in the cock in the sack. Yeah, and do a little wiggle and turn around and back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I like the look that you gave me. Well, he looked me dead in the eyes and he said that. I, oh, sorry about shit. that. I, you didn't like the rhyming. It didn't rhyme. No, so. it worked. It worked. Anyways, I had a great time. Thank you guys for coming out. I really appreciate it. And uh, I am looking forward to some lobster rolls. Yeah. And Stacy doesn't like it, so... Yeah. You know, fuck it, I'll eat hers. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and because mm-hmm. Courtney is also leaving, so I'll be a bachelor this week. That's yeah. right. Are you? Where are you going? I'm going to Mammoth for our last week um, and moving out. Oh. Getting all of our stuff, bringing it back, all the things. Are you guys done with Mammoth in the sense of yep. your mind? Okay. Right. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our rentals up and the whole deal. And it, dude, it hasn't snowed. And it hasn't snowed. Yeah, no. it snowed on Monday, and it's supposed to snow on Tuesday, so we may have a little bit of snow before. But I mean, it's like little, mm-hmm. you know? Well, you know, I saw the sun outside. It has that ring around it. And normally when there's a ring around the sun, yeah. it's supposed to rain. So really? If it rains Ooh. here, that means it's snowing up there. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that was a thing. Wow. Well, that means I need to put my bikes away, too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so she's leaving. Uh, with in, Riley. With Riley, five in the morning. And I am going to see Negative Approach adolescence and Sorry. circle jerks right now that would be fun yeah mm-hmm. after we get done recording i get backstage passes mm-hmm. are you really going straight down there right after this yeah i'm gonna go home and chill for a little bit cool. then start to later but then go grab some dinner and go you are an amazing creature i mean <laughs> you you're good at what i like you, to party hardy you, you're good at what you do and you're pretty good at uh partying but uh you just went out last night to a punk rock and yeah uh, yeah, it was cool. Local bands up in Lompoc. Which I'm glad you did go. You, you're kind of like the ambassador. <laughs> and I'm glad that uh, you're now he's going back to another concert, and then on Thursday, he's going to another concert. Yeah, because pairs are playing. I'm not missing that. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, dude, I like to go. I like to do things. You work mm-hmm. hard, party hard. Yeah, yeah. That I, is true. Oh, Monday's going to suck so bad, but yeah. that's okay. Um, so last night, I'm glad that you called me. But it's a, I'm sorry to interrupt yeah? you, but it's in, in a three-day weekend. Not for me, it's not. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, we don't observe President's Day. Okay. Yeah, I think it's bullshit Hallmark holiday. But it, whatever. Um, so last night, um, I, w- I went by myself because Courtney bitched out on me. I did. <laughs> like, in the parking lot. I'm not going in. Going I home. was so tired. I don't know how. I just told Jeb, I was like, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I can't. I can't. So, Courtney, you I was got, pretty beat. You went out there to turn around? We went to dinner. Yeah, so... Oh. So we went, we started our day uh, with some Irish coffees and uh-huh. then went out and saw you for your birthday at the vineyard, drink Perfect. wine, drink wine. Yeah. And, and then, then we went, went to Los Olivos and uh, got some beers and some Jameson and went to the park and watched bands play. And Will, you played a song. Oh yeah. Best song of the day. Yeah. Oh day. dude. People right. were People are standing so out of attention. Like, excited. oh, something real just happened. Yeah. Now, th- 
because okay, go on. Thank you. Because you know I hate cover bands. Anyways. Yeah, I know. I know. It I know. drives me crazy. <laughs> I was watching you die. I was kind of happy <laughs> sitting there with your mom. She's trying to not yell at me. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. god. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so we did that, and then we went up to the Mexican restaurant that we like. I had, love that place. Had drinks. Then I went to the show until 11. I had Riley come get me. Yeah. So at the restaurant, I was like, oh, my stomach is not feeling good. I've been drinking all day. I was like, mm. In the sun. In the sun. Oh, and yeah. so when I, I was like, I felt really bad until I got in my bed. And I was like, oh, this is exactly <laughs> what I wanted. <laughs> so so that being said, I was sitting there by myself for a little bit. You know, um, I, I know some of the people. I know the people in the bands, basically. But, um, you know, they're busy doing their thing or whatever. And um, so I'm sitting there kind of alone. Right. At a table, and this kid comes up to me. Kid, whatever. He's an adult. But um, comes up to me. He's like, oh, man, I love your band. When are you going to play again? And this and that. And we're chatting. And he's like, I, he's like, man, I just I just really love your band, Yearbooks. That's not my band. <laughs> <laughs> he mistook me for someone else. I was like, oh, thanks, dude. This and that. And it got real awkward real quick. Oh. <laughs> Th- thanks. He was wow. like, I was like, you can check out my podcast, though, if you want. So I hope that you do. And I'm, I'm sorry that it was weird. Because it was weird for me too. Oh man! But that's you're the type of person who can go into a bar by yourself and make friends. Oh, like, yeah. like I that's talk to a lot not. Of people, yeah. That's right. I'm not that person. Like, I'm not just gonna go sit and just start chatting people up. That's like any restaurant that has a bar area. I like to go there. I like to be amongst the people. Mm-hmm. That's the point of going out for me. Like, I, I could sit with you at home. You know, like <laughs> right. so sitting on a table by ourselves not as fun as like sitting. You know, I would like going to that restaurant here in town the nice one and sitting at that bar because it's such a mix of like cowboys and you're a people watcher rich people he and, really is you know yeah you're a people watcher just get right in there yeah <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it is annoying though because i'm like man i don't want to talk to everybody right now being with jeb oh, and yeah. i just because also the other thing is like the other night <clears throat> our neighbors they know they don't hang out very often and oh, I, yeah. I wanted to hang out with them yeah, yeah, yeah but i just hit my people limit like oh, i have uh, a people limit of like because i'm an introvert so like i just i i i shut down and i went to bed and i felt bad but i i didn't feel bad yeah you know I, what i mean that and happened that's, quick it, like all of a sudden i looked and i was like oh it's one in the morning right dude i i can't we were out doing something we we're out i know oh we went to go see jackass well, so we went to the same Mexican restaurant. Right. We love that place. Yeah, yeah. Toro Bowl, we call it. Uh, we went to Toro Bowl, and then we went and saw Jackass. Um, you know, having drinks, stuff, get home, and I saw him like kind of hanging out on their tailgate, and I'd accidentally texted him. Uh, his name's Nick, uh, and our, my tattoo guy is Nick. So I oh, accidentally ta- texted yeah. him about you know tattoo ideas. He's like, sounds cool or whatever. So then when we saw him in the street, you know, like, oh, sorry for that, and we laughed, and I was like, come sit by the fire pit. One in the morning, all of a sudden, boom, just like that. I'm like, really? I have but to see get me after that evening because we had already been hanging out with people and yeah. stuff. I was peopled out. I, I I was done peopling. Yeah. And then like I was like ready to go to bed, and Jeb's like, "Come show your tattoo. Let's do it." Like he came in like ten times. I was like, "I'm just going to bed. I just oh, need man. I just need a little me time." And right what did now. I do the next morning? I got up at ten in the morning. I went and disc golf. I don't understand it. And then. What else did I do? I did. I went big that Maybe day. Maybe that's why your heart's slowing down. Yeah. Well, hey, man, you only live once. That's true. That's that new uh, that new song I'm working on. Uh, uh, I live like every day is my last, and it's killing me. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. a good one. Uh, uh, yeah, dude, we went big though. Um, uh, I gotta admit that that is definitely. If we ever do T-shirts or if we ever do bumper stickers, that quote is "I'm done peopling." I'm done peopling. <laughs> yeah, that is that is such a quote. People are gonna, it is good. I, I'm done peopling. I don't think I made that up. I really don't. Really? I, I really don't. Well, I feel like ever, I've heard it before. If you were going to run for Congress, that'd be your slogan. <laughs> no, right? that'd be terrible. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> I'm done peopling. So my friend that was going to get the tattoos bitched out. Last minute, he gets scared. He doesn't have any, and that's how it's all started. He's like, I would really like to go. But, you know, this and that. And I was like, I'll go with you. Yeah. You know, we could both get one. I'll just get, I wanted this blood for blood tattoo sure. for a while. This the skull. Right. Um, and you want to get a Crimson Ghost Misfits tattoo. And I was like, the Legacy of Brutality cover art sure. is what he wanted to get. He was like, I want to do my whole ribs. I was like, <laughs> mm, maybe start smaller for your first one. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then he was, I could see he was tripping every day. Well, how much do you think it's going to be? Uh, should we send him to art now? And then, oh, do you know this or that? How long do you think I'll be sitting there? Uh, you know, does he only take cash? Uh, you know, this uh, and I'm like, dude, calm down. You just go in and do it. Like it's easy. Wow, you know, heart think- and dagger, they hold it down for us. Yeah. Um, and he's he said he's down to have us come back in. 
for our our next tattoo roulette thing that we got to do. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah. So, anyways, I got my. I called another friend, and he wound up getting his fucking throat and neck tattoo. Oh my last god! Minute. Last, last minute. I just texted him, "Yo, you want to go?" And he was like, "Sure." And then um, he was sitting there having beers with his wife, and like, "What should I get?" And she's like, "Just get like a skull with wings across your throat." Okay. <laughs> I was like, you're a fucking maniac. I mean, that's crazy because you weren't expecting that, right? It's like he just came up with that idea five seconds before going in and got yeah. his throat tatted. I mean, it wraps around his neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, he's gonna have to fill it in and do some shading and stuff, but the outline is great. Oh God, I wonder how much pain that was. It. He, he he's a big, it, strong dude. He and, said it was really. It was the position. Yeah, he looked weird. Go on, go on, go on. It was the position, and then because he like Nick is a big dude and he was holding down on his throat and so it made him feel like he was like choking, choking. choking you gotta him. stretch that skin right and he's like it's claustrophobic because nick also has throat tattoos and he's like this is gonna be real claustrophobic so just tell me we'll take breaks and, you know he spread out arms open think like jesus mm-hmm. like uh. just trying and trying to hold still and i had uh. to keep stuck because i was i was so shit-faced oh, and i was like I was making him laugh and stuff. And I'm like, okay. All right. I'll wait. Like when he got on the Adam's apple, I was like, I'll hold off and not say anything. As soon as they get done, I'd pop off with something. And oh, if I can make him laugh, he's like, God damn it. I know he was getting frustrated with me. I owe him an apology. Yeah. <laughs> Nick. Nick. Yeah. yeah. He's like, that's the ninth time you've said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, ah, oh, shit. And my record's stuck on skip. Oh, no. Uh, but I didn't eat that day. That that's what gets me. Um, and you got a tattoo. I did get a tattoo. The blood for blood tattoo came out really great. Um, here's a mistake that I made. I accidentally got a racist tattoo. Oh, let's hear it. It's not racist, but it looks like it. And I learned a lesson. I'm going to teach you guys this lesson so you don't have to learn the hard way, like well, old Jeb here, old and they have to get a block block out tattoo. Uh, if you are white, you can't get the word white written on you without it looking racist. I don't care in what context. It's really? Because the logo for blood for blood. Is it has the skull and then underneath it it says white trash. And then right underneath that I have my anti swastika. And so something about the combo Yeah, of it, yeah. It I mean, first glance, you're like yeah. that's a fucking I don't know. It just looks it looks so fucking it, racist. I, I get don't you. I can't have that at all. I like and people are like, No, it's not though. And I'm like, That's cause you know me and now you're looking at yeah. it. Well and you know but the band just, and they are very anti racist. So I'm if I'm walking down <laughs> the street or whatever, you know. I don't know. I, I just... Hey, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, by all yeah, means, get, I, you can do whatever you want. Get rid of it. I was thinking about just crossing out the white part, so it just said trash, but I don't know. No. Uh, we're gonna we're going on a Salty Dog cruise, and they're going to have a tattoo artist there. Mm-hmm. So I figured on the way back from the Bahamas, I'll just get them to do something. I think I'm going to turn it into a nice little snake. You're going to... You're probably end up getting drunk and putting whiter or trash. <laughs> <laughs> or like you said, who, or someone said, I should get dick and balls made out of it, but I don't know. Um, I said dildo. <laughs> But what about uh, a... <laughs> um, I said, excuse me, I said dildo. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> well, can we be serious here? Um, can Let's you get our do uh, whitewash? But just anything white's not going to work. No. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. I just, I just, I don't like it. It makes me feel bad. I woke, And I even right before I was like, does this look racist? And they're like, no. And I was drinking. And I was like, all right, fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. So, and I think it would have actually looked better without any words, anyways. Like it if would you have. have, yeah. If it was you just a just mistake. It, yeah. I should. I, just, I didn't need words. Mm-hmm. Well, let me put it this way: you can put a black spot over it, and it's still gonna look all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not worried, dude. This leg, this leg has stick figures and boobies, and yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a deck of cards with shit on them, and yeah. it's mm-hmm. it's not like it's a a real showpiece. So. <laughs> 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 Uh, let's see. So what else happened, Courtney? You get some standouts? Uh, yeah. So I have been working really hard and I basically in one week made what I made in a month. Yes, you did. So, uh, yeah. So I am glad that I, (laughs) I did the decision or I made the decision that I did and I am really excited. Oh, good for you. That's Mm -hmm. working out so far. Yep. And now she gets to go to Mammoth and work from there. Yep. But also get out and hit the slopes a little bit. That's right. So good for you, Courtney. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, I've got I've got a couple more little things. Of Go course, for it, please. Yep. You know, um, I took a nap the other day. I'm an excellent napper. Actually. I'm going pro. <laughs> it's so annoying. <clears throat> I can fall asleep immediately. Sleep for five ten minutes, and boom, I'm energized and ready to go. That's why you can party as that, much. I as think you do. that is. The, I think he's right. Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'll probably go home and take a nap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, so I don't know. I can't even remember when I took this note, but it was in the middle of the week. Um, I'm sitting there having dinner after my nap, and I 
It's like, fuck, man, something fucking stinks. Uh-huh. And I'm smelling like my cup and whatever. I'm like, what is that? Just watching TV. is right before dinner. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm smelling my hands. <laughs> and I'm like, it smells like fucking spit. Oh! Right? I'm like, I'm smelling spit. And what? I realized it was my face that smelled like spit. Because I drooled and while I took a nap. I got spit all over my face and I was smelling my spit face. That I, is so gross. I just want to say that I was into this conversation <laughs> and now I don't like you. Yeah. I mean, that is, first of all, so many questions. What does spit smell like? I mean, spit stinks. Does it? Oh, yeah. I mean, then enough to where you fucking drooled all over yourself. Dude, that's a big drool. It was a big drool. I didn't oh. know. I woke. I didn't know. I woke up and oh did whatever. Oh, my God. You're wow. going to have to wear a bib. <laughs> <laughs> sleep bib? The sleep bib. Uh, our friend, Dr. L, what does she have? A food blanket. Because she likes to eat in bed so much. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Dr. L. Uh, wow. she, she eats in bed so much. She has a blanket that's just there so she can wrap it in and eat and spill all over it. So that's, I don't know. I think you got to get new friends. <laughs> I don't know. I have spit face, so maybe not. A uh, couple things happened in the news. And the last thing I'm going to say, yeah. you took that as a note because you wanted people to hear that story. I thought it was interesting. <laughs> I did. I did write that down. That's your husband. Yeah. yeah. Wait wait until you hear my dreams. Have oh. you guys been writing down your dreams? No. I, I, there's only one that I could remember, and it wasn't anything. I've got one from almost every single day this week. I know. You've been like... Really? Yeah. And Dude, I dreamed this morning because I... Well, I woke up early. I always wake up early. Um, <clears throat> years of working construction. Mm-hmm. That's another thing. Jeff, when he used to live here, he's like, it's like you have this magic thing. I haven't used an alarm clock in years. I wake up right on the dot, six o'clock. Boop. That's weird. Every morning, I two in the morning, I'll go to bed. Six in the morning, Duke, I'll go back to sleep. Mm-hmm. I can go back to sleep, but I always do wake up. Um, well, I forget where I was going with this. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Um it started with oh, dreams. yeah, so I woke up this morning. I uh, I woke up, whatever, and I was up for a little bit, fucking around on my phone, you know, looking up the Aqua Dolls and, you know, going through their stuff, getting tip ready for today. And then I went back to sleep. So and then I had a dream mm-hmm. that I was having this conversation with you guys. Dude, that's <laughs> creepy. And I can remember exactly what you said. And here it is. I didn't even realize it. This is how deja vu happens, maybe. I'm having this little um, white claw thingy. Mm-hmm. And you said, I'll have one in solidarity with you. <laughs> and he went and got one. I, I can remember it clear as day. Wow. Solidarity, but, huh? That's what you said. I don't know. But that's what I dreamed. So I don't know. If you want to have one in solidarity, you're welcome to. Hmm. But let's get to that in, in our next segment. But I think I think this dream segment, is you're going to like it a lot. And I really wish Jeff was here for it because he would, he would have a ball with it. So. I'm uh, scared. Well, a couple things happened in the news. Mask mandate got dropped in California. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's pretty wild to not have to have a mask in your pocket mm-hmm. i still do I still, yeah but i'm still carrying mine around businesses or companies can uh, they could choose they could choose to have you wear one in their house i mean in their yeah place f- fair mm-hmm. i don't know and i could choose to go there or not and whatever yeah. i think it's good I, mm-hmm. I think i think we're ready for that do so. you think we waited too long oh no i think, you think it's we're right too about, early no i don't know i think it's okay we had a huge spike in december and well, all that stuff and i think it's you know i think people get it if you're <clears throat> if you're worried about it, wear it. If you aren't, don't. And mm-hmm. you know, don't cough in people's faces and be dicks about it. If someone asks you to put it on, be respectful. Put a, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Uh, one of my I don't like to wear it. Stacy's clients just died of coronavirus. I know. Yeah. My, one of my mom's um, good friends did too. Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. They refused to get vaxxed and didn't mask and do the whole thing. So, and um, you know, hoping that prayers would work. And I'm just here to tell you, it didn't. And then it doesn't. <laughs> and I'm not a doctor, but pretty sure that shit's fake. Um, oh, man. So then also, <laughs> in the same thing, our government, Joe Biden, um, passed some money for crack pipes. What? I thought you were joking about No, that. let me read this for you guys. Right before we're going to World War Three. This is um, amp.cnn.com, so take that as you will. Um, but fact check... Bid in the administration isn't funding crack pipes. Um, last week, an article claiming that the Biden administration planned to give away crack pipes to drug addicts went viral, eliciting outrage on the right and prompting a series of clarifications from an administration. All right, so basically, uh, they approved the uses of twenty nine twenty nine million dollar program, um, and part of that program was the purchase of safe smoking kits and supplies. Um, and the article claimed uh, that crack pipes are part of those safe smoking supplies. Um, so, so it's not true. Well, I'm going to let you guys decide on this. 
I'm kind of leaning that it is true and they're trying to cover their ass because it says facts first. It's not true that tax dollars are currently being used for a crack pipe fund quote. Um, but while the white house has since said they never plan to include pipes and kits, the parameters for the grant did not explicitly state that furthermore, the previous reports on harm reduction have noted that safer smoking kits often do include glass stems or pipes and then, um, rubber parts to put over for the mouth and all that stuff. Um, so I'm not going to read this whole thing, but basically they were, it sounds like they were planning on doing it and didn't clear or clarify what was in these smoking kits. Oh, wow. What is a safe smoking kit? If it doesn't include a pipe, you know, they're like, no, 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 we were never going to do that. But what's a safe smoking kit. That's what they're going. They're like, okay, so then what's in a safe smoking kit, you know? And, and the whole point of the government providing that is so that, it it helps people to, to, to quit to quit like i don't is it i really like don't a, understand yeah um <laughs> you know i mean f- you know you guys know where i stand i think all drugs should be legal and regulated mm. I, it, same thing with prostitution i think it's it you know it's it would help help everyone you know um because people are doing it anyways so make it Making safer, it safer. Vi- environment that yeah. doesn't mean you have to promote it mm-hmm. you know but you can make it safer huh but what do you guys think I don't know. That's an interesting. I'd have to read a little bit more. I, I would want to see the statistics of the, cause I know that there are um, nations that do that. So I would want to see the statistics before and after. Cause I know that there's studies out there that you could do it. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean, I don't know, but it, it, people are freaking out, dude. Well, and I'm sure like, like you said, it's like only a sliver of that bill and the rest of it is going to other things. I mean, it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what else is in there. Like, you know, the government's always so tricky with that. You know, you can't trust them. Well, any kind of verbiage of any kind of bill is always tricky. Like yeah. even even like like a contract that you're signing for like Apple, like that South Park right. thing where it's like you don't really read what you're signing when you're signing to Apple. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or anything like all right. of those things yeah, have no, like these weird. Accept, yeah. Right. Beep, so beep, beep. it's like any kind of contract has all this weird things that people try to shove in there. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I thought it was a little wild. Um, so, on a different note, um, Snoop Dogg bought Death Row Records. Really? Wow. Yeah, right before the Super Bowl. Really? Yeah, it's pretty rad. Um, they won't say how much. I tried to find. Now, it, but he bought that from Suge Knight? No, Suge Knight uh, killed that guy, ran him over and stuff 15 years ago. So, he's in jail. So, he sold it to someone else. I'm not sure who. Um but, you know, I haven't heard anything coming out of Death Row. Not like my finger's on the pulse of that. But, um, <laughs> you know, I haven't heard anything from them from a while. So that, that's, that could be pretty cool. Yeah. You know? And he's like, you know, he's one of the original guys on right. Death Row. So. And then full right, circle. Full right, circle. Right, right before the Super Bowl thing, too. The that's halftime cool. show. What would you guys think of the halftime show? Um, it was a throwback for sure. I wasn't impressed. I don't know. No, uh, that's not your shit at all, though. I mean... Stacy liked it, but I don't. I, I'm not a fan of Lady Gaga, but she killed it on the you know jumping out of the shit and singing that whole song by herself. I mean, you know, it's not lip sync. I yeah, don't know. she was. Uh, but I was impressed with that. I don't know. I, I mean, do you know that there was this? It was the slowdown though. It was Compton, where they all. Uh, oh, is that what it was? Supposed yeah. To be? Oh, yes. cool. I, I liked that. the floor mat that had like the lights. That it was like the city. Yeah. I really did. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I I thought it was too short. I, I oh yeah I, I was like wow, I this thought it was very like it short went really quick and then I don't know and it was cool I thought it was I thought it was something different mm-hmm. you know I don't know I don't really care too much for sports balls anyway so I know and I mean, but we got to go um, sports oh balls. I won though like I won I entered like squares or something <laughs> and it was crazy and people kept being like oh you might win and I was like okay cool okay, I just cool. I, I just kept being like oh nice. Like yeah. a lot, I didn't know what they were saying, the terminology that they were it's talking about. It's really interesting how Courtney keeps going, oh, I won. She was like, <laughs> they, we come up and like, hey, new people, you guys want to put money down? I was like, yeah, I've got five singles. And, and then like you $5. handed it to me. So? That was standing right in front of the girl, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then and then when Courtney, quote unquote, won, she handed me on five bucks back and kept the rest. <laughs> it was twenty dollars. I won twenty dollars. Oh. Yeah, but I don't know how she gets to claim that. I was like, I was there. I, I was here. I well, was the one with the money. I picked the boxes. Yeah, it took a lot of thinking and work. She to had do no that. idea how, that she was even. I or how randomly it worked. picked. So yeah. yeah. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty bucks. Yeah. Uh, how about we get into our first song? Oh yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is Card Reader, and this is their song, Reminder. Card Reader. They are a Long Island, um, yeah, punk rock band, and their music can be described as anthemic pop punk goodness. Whoa, what's that word? Anthemic. I'm like never heard anthem. Of that. Yeah. Okay, now I get it. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, Card Reader has an exciting year ahead of them as their championship run and the 2021 Interstate Music Awards continues to pay dividends. Wow. Interstate Music named Card Reader an official brand ambassador following their success in the competition have and have given their full support to the band ever since um they're promoting right now our back up with a brand new music video a reminder of the song that we just listened to filmed in milwaukee milwaukee wisconsin right yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> directed and produced by interstate music the camera follows card reader as they pull shenanigans while walking through the city uh, the new vis- video also features a healthy mix of footage from the band's first show performed at the Caribou Room back in September 23rd, 2021. They also um, are going to do an upcoming Northeastern Weekend Tour 
New York and Pennsylvania in March, at the beginning of March. So if you are in those areas, check them out. All cool. right. Yeah. Very cool. I like their sound. Yes. Yeah, you, Courtney, you curated another um, good show. Mm. And everything's kind of got this sound today. It's yeah. Not as heavy. You know, some, sometimes it's ska. Sometimes yeah. it's a... Uh, right. Anal kind. I don't know. A- so. Anal kind? Yeah. Wow. Is Do you know real, them? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a real band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, we should. We, I thought that was a made up one, but uh, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's real. So um, I, I got a last minute punk of the week, you guys. All right. Oh. Um, this is going to be Jens Hanning. Um, I'll just say, take the money and run. So a Danish artist was given $84,000 by a museum to use in a work of art. When he delivered the piece he was supposed to make, it was not as promised. Instead, the artist, Jens Hanning, gave the Kunsten Museum of Modern Art in Alborg, Denmark, two blank canvases. And they were titled "Take the Money and Run." Ah, <laughs> oh my god! Gotcha, bitch! Wow. Um, they're supposed to get the money back, but he's like, "Nah, nah." <laughs> wow. as, as of so far, and everyone's like, "Well, that's art. That's I mean, art, motherfucker." Here we are talking about it. Wow. You know what I mean? Dang. Uh, punk of the week, though. Take the money and run. And the person, the curator, or whatever, was like, "Like, I laughed." When I saw and like, what? Did, did, like, they're empty? And then saw the little note, take the money and run. Like, oh, you son of a bitch. But the curator laughed. <laughs> yeah. like yeah, He's it, like, yeah. yeah. Or she, I can't remember. I'm not going to read the whole fucking thing. That is. That but, is. Um, but he got paid on top of that. So the idea was it was that he was uh, paid to do. or So he was paid like $6,000 or whatever to remake. This old art piece that he did, which was just money, and it was supposed to show the average income of wherever it was. Mm-hmm. Um, I can read a little more, I guess. No, it's fine. Um, an Australian salary, right? So, like, it was supposed to be, like, comparing to, like, one canvas was, like, 10 years ago, one was right, this year. Right, right, you know, right. And showing in true form how much money, right. you know, actually is, you know, inflation, whatever. It's supposed mm-hmm. to be that kind of thing. Instead, just mm-mm, took money and ran. <laughs> I think that is awesome. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Oh, yeah. boy. It's what you wanted, you know, making me an art piece. Yeah, I thought it was awesome. I was like, that's pretty fucking punk rock. Wow. Um, so there's that. Um, should we just get into some retractions, revisions? Sure. Sure, let's do it. Okay, what do you got, Will? Oh, I'm going third. <laughs> I'll go fourth. Courtney? I got to look at my notes. I don't even know that I have so any. So I got, I've got got some, and then you can jump in. Okay. Got it. Um, first off, uh, we were talking about the Tinder swindler, or whatever that's on Netflix. Yes. About the guy um, oh, right, tricking right, right. the women out of money. Those women started to go fund me. Thoughts? For what? To get their money back, so they're having a public pay them back. What do you guys think about that? I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. What do you mean? But did they? He swindled them, right? Yeah, right. But and he did like five months of jail. And he's out. He's, he's out. He's got like his new model girlfriend. He's riding around in private jets and shit again. So I'm supposed to give them money because of their that. That, yes. Because he swindled them out of money. No, I'm 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 not gonna do that. No. Are people paying it though? That's my question. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, but people are also freaking out about it. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know. I was like, you know, I think GoFundMe is some fucked up shit. Also, I I don't have these notes in front of me, but just something with GoFundMe. Uh, the Canadian truck drivers and stuff. They, you know, they're boycotting and protesting and doing all that stuff. Um, they got millions of dollars. Through GoFundMe, and GoFundMe took that fucking money. <gasps> no. And was going to give it out to various charities. And people are like, I didn't give my money to various charities. I gave it for this. What? You can't take our fucking money. Why would they? I, I'm They'll pre- get it. A- I'm pretty sure that the They'll- backlash was strong enough they got their money. Right. Yeah. But I think it was like $10 million or something. Holy it was like cow. substantial. And the GoFundMe was just like, nope, not yeah. doing that because of politics. I mean, you can't tell. You can't take people's money away for your politics. No. Mm-hmm. You know? I, live and let live, dude. But Although, take the money and run. Take the money and run, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, uh, no, I disagree with that. Yeah. So, we talked to um, Johnny with the Rum Jacks about the show, I Think You Should Leave. Yeah. And we watched a couple episodes. Yeah. And, dude, that is your humor. Yeah, yeah, 100%. yeah. hundred percent. It kind of reminded me of the Auntie Donna's... Yeah, uh, it's Australian humor. Yeah, mm-hmm, I love it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's wacky. Yes. You know? Because there are times where you're like, wait, what is actually happening right now? <laughs> like, you don't understand it yeah. for a minute? Yeah. And, and I, I, you know, it's some are hit or miss, but hey, they're only like 30 seconds or they something. They are very short, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. Um, is it... And it's comedy, huh? Yes. Yeah. 
Should we pause? I'm sorry. There we go. Yeah. Nice. There we go. And I'm still going to stare at you anyways. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> uh, all right. So then we got, um, remember back in our early days here, it sounds like nonsense. Yeah. We did a... Uh, Love is Blind, we tried to decover. Oh, yes. right. Love is Blind 2 is currently out and available. No. Should we jump in? No. <laughs> that was really hard to watch. That it was, was yeah. horrible. Yeah. That so, was so a solid no. That's See, a solid I wish no. Jeff was here. I bet he would say I yes. I think he would probably say yes. We'll find out. Uh, um, no. So then uh, you're talking about Johnny from Rum Jacks. I was really bummed uh, that you weren't here for that because I think, Will, you would have got along with him. Really. Oh, yeah. oh, I bet. Yeah. He was a great dude. He was funny, man. Um and I know it sounds a little funny, especially at the end of the episode. I say something like, oh, maybe we'll get them on. What had happened? What had happened was uh, we recorded that on Super Bowl, and somehow we got our wires crossed. Oh, yeah. And they didn't come and do the interview, and we finished out the show, and we had him on later in the week. Mm-hmm. And it was only me and Courtney. Yep. Um, everyone else couldn't do it, whatever the thing was. Mm-hmm. So, um, Or the following week. I can't remember what the fuck. Uh, right, right, but, right. So right. anyways, it sounds a little funny, and that's why. Okay. You know, I just because I couldn't edit it enough to where it sounded right. Mm-hmm. We're not perfect. No. no, we are not. That's why the interview didn't happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> when it was supposed to. Um, let's see. I think that we need a heyholdmypurse.com update. Oh, please. Let's hear this. What about it? I think that you need to update it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Well, yeah. I only we have, have s- not plugged that in a long time. I only have so many videos of Kevin Johnson dancing. But you have more. I think give the people what they want. I've been getting emails. <laughs> have you really? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> I need more of Kevin Johnson uh, dancing. I was actually thinking of taking it down. No. I don't know. No, like, or, or I say we post another one, get the streams back up, and then sell that fucker. And make <laughs> money off of making fun of him. Okay. Okay? All Let's right. do that. You're a kind person. Um, Will, I got one for you. Okay? okay, sure. This is me being kind. This is from Backstage.com. Yeah. How to get cast on Yellowstone. Oh, Oh. shit. Let me take notes, motherfucker. Go ahead. (laughs) Um, If you've been wrangled and becoming a fan and hope to one day join this show's all-star cast, we got all the information you need. From audition opportunities to insider tips from producers and actors, here's how to get on the Yellowstone casting process. Wow. That is crazy that that's a real thing. You go to Backstage.com. Uh-huh. And it'll tell you. <laughs> now, yeah, that's, I, I found it on there. So I don't know. You, they, uh, basically, you, it's just got to get cast today. Get started. You click the little button right there. Oh, my God. Yep. I uh, don't know why. I, it, you must have found that very easily, right? I did. I found it this morning. Yeah. Wow. I didn't find that. Yeah, I'm going to send it to you right now. Uh, all I want to do is just be uh, in the background. That's it. Mm-hmm. You know? That's what. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like that's it. You just go to backstage.com. So, but they actually film in Montana, right? Like, Wyoming. Will's rich. He okay. can go. That's not rich. <laughs> True. <laughs> you can afford a plane ticket to go to Yellowstone, though, huh? Forecasting, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, um. So w- last week, we were also talking about Drake putting hot sauce in the condom. Yeah, was yes. that true? Does he have a hot sauce line? He does not have a hot sauce line yet, but Drake, hit us up. <laughs> we'll help you. We're small but mighty. Sure. Um, so... Doctors say don't try it at home. Jock's hot sauce trick will not kill sperm, mm. but it will give you a burn. <laughs> well, it will give actual- you a good laugh, too. <laughs> yeah. And so when I was looking it up again to see if um, hot sauce did kill sperm, <laughs> my search history, I'm going to go to jail. Oh, yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so the lady is actually trying to sue him. What? And she's the one. Yeah. Who right. did, I was like, what the fuck, man? I'm sure that there was forms that was that sh- she filled out on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't. Yeah. I'm. I don't know. But she's some Instagram model or whatever, and he put out a post saying, "Enjoy your 15 minutes of fame. I'll keep the 23 hours and 45 minutes each day left over." Mm. And I was like, "Okay, all right." Wow. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Riot Fest. We keep speculating and whatever, and we're like, "We don't know where it is." And now it's Chicago, September 16th through 18th. And right now, they only have two bands confirmed. It's My Chemical Romance on Friday, and Saturday night, it's the original Misfits okay. wow. performing "Walk Among Us," which I would love to see that. And then nothing else has been announced. It, so My Chemical Romance isn't that not punk? Not to me, but that's, you know, punk is... But Riot you, Fest is all kinds of genres, right? It oh, was, yeah, it, it'll yeah. be mixed mm-hmm, up, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah, My Chemical Romance is punk, I guess. Okay. You know, I don't know. Everyone, I punk is 
whatever. Trying you... to define that, dude. I, I don't know. But like, I mean, I could safely say Dolly Parton's not punk. I don't know that you could. Oh, she seems pretty punk rock to me. Okay. <laughs> yes. See, okay. I, I don't know. Like that's for everyone to decide on their own. Um, but let's see. What else do we got? You got anything else? There Courtney? was yeah. So um, I was trying to find the reunion of Op IV. Of it was. Um, Dang it! It was I had it just now. It was it. What happened? What what happened? I was, wanted. Oh, it was Muzak <laughs> charity Musac charity concert or something or Muzak. Yeah. So it was a charity concert, but I was like, "What charity was it?" It's M U S A C K. So oh. check that charity out. Cool. And then Will, you got your boat running. I did get my boat running. I'm very uh, glad to have it done. I. Um, I got it all souped up and it's ready to go. And it's. Uh, it rained a lot in December, so there's actual water. There's actual water. I can't nice. believe it. Can you dock at your place now? Yeah. Even? Wow. Yeah. There's that much water. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Um, also, uh, I got a bimini top. That is a. Um, mm-hmm. You know what a bimini is? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to go provide put, some shade. Yes, because it is ridiculous. You, it's not fun. You're just constant sun. You know what I mean? Right, right. So I got that taken care of, and yeah. You get it installed? I'm going to install it this week. You're going to do it yourself or have someone do it? I'm going to have someone do it. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I don't like doing anything like that. Well, when it comes to boats, I don't want to, I don't know. I, it's really easy. I can do it. Yeah. Well, uh, so let's see. What else do we got here? Jeff stuff, Carolina Thin. How's that song going? That song's going great. Okay. <laughs> uh, pay to spray, Jeff. I don't know if that's happening. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it for me. Oh, I had soft mouth again on the last episode. I'm soft sorry. mouth. I don't like it when that happens. How's that so, happening? So, does that mean that you need to cut down on your drinking because it's bleeding over into days that you're not drinking? Um, Ooh. no, I'm going to say it's my thyroid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Definitely not the drinking. So, uh, okay. Uh, soft mouth is what? It's, it's when I sound like I'm drunk and I'm not. <laughs> and you said that very clear just now. I don't think I did. I was like, now I'm going to be thinking about it. I wish I wouldn't have read that. Mm-hmm. So there it is. Retractions, revisions, you guys. All right. Um, so the dream journal. Yeah. You guys didn't do it. No. I, I don't have the dreams that you have. Yeah, really. Mine's like my grandmother making pancakes. You really want to hear that? Yep, I do. Well, so I can't remember them. This is, this is wild. I'm going to go through my week here. I think that we should make this a segment because. Yes. Um, I have an idea for the music for it, and I couldn't pull it together this morning because I've been partying. Um, so I'm just going to go from the top here. Um, I took my daughter to Disney, left my phone so I couldn't get a hold of Courtney and my daughter. So I had to take the subway to get there. Mike from Chaser was there. I had to go to Disney by myself to look for them. Got to the Jurassic Park part of it, which is not doesn't exist, and the dinosaurs didn't like me and wouldn't let me pass through. <laughs> and you don't have a daughter. Uh-uh. I mean, subway to, to no, also. Like, and right now, now that I read it out loud, I can picture it. I can picture like going to get my ticket to get on the subway and the lady being mean to me and everything. Wow. Like, reading back now, I can picture the whole fucking thing. Hmm. Really? This is from, I don't know, like well, at least a week ago. Hmm. Oh, wow. Um, okay, here's the next one. I was dancing with Katy Perry and Miss Piggy after getting <laughs> up and seeing a band play early in the morning. Okay, so when he told me that one, I was like, wait, I feel like I was watching something in the same room and there was Katy Perry and Miss Piggy. It was like a documentary of something. I still can't find it, though. So I just don't know. But I was like, but I was already asleep or something. You were already asleep. And it was talking about I, I don't I can't even think of like what documentary would tie. There Katie was some Perry. band on stage. Yeah. And then weird. Katy Perry got up there, and then Miss Piggy got up there, and they were dancing. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm getting up there too." I started so dancing weird. with them. I think we should uh, put money every week into maybe you getting a therapist, <laughs> so that you can maybe take these dreams. The look of concern and, on your face well, right now, Will. Is I'm like, just I oh, mean Miss Piggy and I'm Katie just Perry, scratching the surface, and you're just scratching the surface. Okay, here's another one. Um, there was an alien invasion, and they when they came into the atmosphere, they exploded like it was like a meteorite coming right, in, but right. exploded like fireworks. You know the ones that go. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then all those were separate uh, spaceships. Mm. Um, they came down. Let's see. And Sebastian was there, my friend. Oh, he was there for the um, Katy Perry Miss Piggy thing too. <laughs> oh, okay. And, oh, so I have a little note here that says, "Yeah, so there's the alien invasion. Sebby was there. Fireworks is how they came in." 
Um, and both dreams were like 15 minutes apart from each other. Wow. Hmm. I don't know. It was wow. like I woke up and I wrote the one down, fell asleep, and then dreamed the fucking alien invasion. What happens if it was Miss Piggy in invasions? <laughs> you know? What? Just Kermit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the pilot was Katy Perry. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, maybe you could be my therapist. No. <laughs> uh-uh. All right. Thought I woke up and wrote it down, but I did that in my dream, and I woke up myself for real and wrote that down too. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's super weird. I had a dream where an outdoor bowl type venue and I dropped a lit cigarette butt down the back of Cowboy Doug's shirt. <laughs> 10 minutes later, it caught him on fire a little. <laughs> a little? I freaked out and poured beer on it. He wasn't injured and was only kind of mad. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dream? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Wow. Here's another one. At CES, I waited. That's where I get my uh, electrical parts for my work. Okay. Uh, at CES, I waited for an over an hour for parts. I went and got them myself. A homeless fat dude was naked out back with seven teenage kids fucking him. And a big <laughs> Jewish wedding was in the front yard. And everyone was walking around the bum fucking like it was no big deal to go to the wedding. What is wrong with your brain? <laughs> 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 it is, it is. <laughs> I love the quote. It's another T-shirt. Oh. Everyone just walked around as if there was no bum fucking. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, ready? Yeah, I'm not done. I got like five more. Good lord, bum fucking. I had to hunt down a werewolf with, with a bunch of kids. I guess it was lurking by a hot spring. We were in a motel first, and it was our neighbor. Let's see, I'm half asleep when I write in these. We were in a motel first, and it was oh, that's some, the- somehow our neighbor found out, and we got out to the woods. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. We were in a motel first, and it was our neighbor somehow we found out, got out to the woods. I don't know. All right. Uh, bows and arrows and bicycles and stuff. <laughs> what? But we found Wolfsbane and covered ourselves with it, so we got him. Wolfsbane? Yeah. It's supposed to, like, it's fake. You know, it's oh. like, it's supposed to... Re- Repel. That one was nonsensical. Yeah, but I, I don't know. In, I'm just writing them down. That, that sounded like, that sound like nonsense. Stage. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it did sound like nonsense. Okay. I got like four more. So Jeez. at some sort of theme park where we went through an obstacle course, Mitch from Fishing from Chips was there. Mm-hmm. We were wearing Burger King hats <laughs> and wanted to get photos to send to Irving. Mm, that means something else. Send to someone. Uh, but some punks came and talked shit to Mitch's father in law. What? So he got into a fight. My mother-in-law, Wendy, was there. I think she was enjoying herself. <laughs> no, that does not sound <laughs> like... And I can remember the theme park. Actually, I remember this one now. I read it. Um, it was it was weird. Like, you go up and you get a color. There's, like, you know, the primary colors. It's like a tag. Sure. So you get red and you walk through the park and you try to find all the red things. And that was the that was the quote-unquote ride. Wow. And so people were like, oh, look, there's the yellow thing. Oh, look, there's the blue thing. If you had the tag, you're like, oh, that's, that was my color. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yep. So, um, you'd be really fun at a kid's party. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I had a work dream. It was just me at work. I worked in my sleep the whole time, but it was almost exactly like the Anna Delvaney doc. Um, and it was playing when we went to sleep. So, like, mm-hmm. something about that, like, I was working, and it was just stressful, like, I was trying to get the funding, and this and that, and I'm <laughs> sitting at the office, and, yeah, but that's directly related to what I was watching when yeah. I fell asleep. Yep, yep. Here's the one. I was on a hike with a witch. Uh, that was, like, the one from Harry Potter. What's her name? You know? I don't know. There's uh, lots of witches in Harry Potter. Witchy. Oh, the, um... The Helen Bonham? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, it was her, or, like... Whatever her so, character was. It was something like that. Okay. It wasn't her... I was on a hike with a witch that was like the one from Harry Potter. We banged. Wow. Then later, I was at some friend's house of Riley's, and we were trying to climb some adjustable pole up to the balcony, and I looked out the window, and I can remember this too now. I looked out the window, and there's a beautiful field um, in a perfect fall setting with yellow flowers and leaves all over the ground, and a huge group of pink flamingos flew into the field by the lake, but they're like eight foot tall. (laughs) Wow. I can remember that clearly. That's wild. I don't know. I don't know. What does that fucking mean? I have no idea, man. <sighs> okay, here's the one from uh, last night. Mm. This one's horrible. Okay. I got a small toilet, and I put it in an office by my boss's desk. What? This oh. is like an office setting, like cubicles and things. 
I had to poop and couldn't use the real bathroom because people and women were in there. So I had to use the tiny little toilet. Um, but it was so small that I couldn't get my dick and balls inside the toilet and poop at the same time. So I had to pee while I was pooping and I peed up into the air and it went onto my boss's desk and he was furious. I was trying to hide my dick and balls from my coworkers because there was not enough room. Um, so then I was like, and people come, were coming in and getting mad at me. I was like, what am I supposed to do? Elizabeth Hurley was working in the other room oh my. with everyone. I wasn't going to go there and do it. Other people showed up and kept coming in, making fun of me. Um, I was pretty sure I was going to get fired. <laughs> and then I woke up and I came here and did the show. <laughs> oh, What do wow. you guys think? Uh, that's a lot. That was a lot. Huh? I'm speechless. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's a one week's worth of dreams. How, I told like, you guys I have weird dreams all the time. Yes. Your body just must never rest. I don't feel insane. Rest. I don't know. Yeah. That's insane. I, I think I wore you guys out right there. You really That you was so crazy. Yeah, should we listen She's to She's turning story? red. I don't know what happened right there. Oh, you didn't I like just, the fact that no, I banged I a witch went, or where are we, oh, we, we going to be okay? Whatever, man. I just, <laughs> I just wiped my eyes. Okay. Um, I do remember, though, we had a question of the week. Oh, we did have a question of the week. Are we going to do that without Jeff? Yeah, we might as well. Okay. We, let's do Let's start. So the question of the week was your celebrity cheat. I have three. <laughs> um, okay. But uh, we've got to guess for everyone first. So let's guess what we think Jeff's is. I'm going to um, go first because I think I know. I think I know too. I'll say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Joe Hulk Rogan. Hogan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Hulk Hogan and Joe Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You mean Hulk like now or Hulk back in the day? Any day. Really? Yeah. Okay. Courtney? Wait, what is the question? Celebrity cheat? No, but like, are we guessing? For Jeff. I have no idea, man. No idea. No? Mm -mm. See, I think his other one would be Tay Tay. No. I don't think so. I think so. Joe Rogan's funnier. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> well, he yeah. said numerous times he has a man crush on it. Jeff, if you're here, you could defend yourself. But mm -hmm. you're not. Mm -hmm. Or handsome Keith. Yeah. Uh, I, don't I don't know. think so. No, I think that's more of a joke. I think so, too. <laughs> not, that, not that Hulk Hogan is in a joke. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah, right. Uh, fucking, uh, all right, so let's pick for Will. Courtney. All right, you guys will never, ever, ever get him. Mm. Let's see. Oh, I've got written down here, pink. Oh. God, no. I mean, not like she's listening. Um, no. <laughs> if I, I know you have history with her. I don't know. That's guessed, what I thought. Never guess. You'll never, never guess. guess. You'll never guess. Uh, what? Two, two of them are actresses. Okay, okay. But I'll never guess. One, you just said uh, in this last couple hours. Elizabeth Dolly Parton? Hurley. Elizabeth Hurley? No. Oh, she's hot. Dolly Parton, good God. <laughs> I'm a you monster, said, but not a monster. I don't something know. Something that we already said? We already said, oh, oh no, yeah, oh yeah. no, what yeah. happened? Mm. All right, yeah, so. Shall I go? Courtney, did you, can, did you pick? I, did, I, I said Dolly Parton, I guess. Oh, Dolly Parton, yeah. Right. All right, yeah. Okay, um, go ahead, tell us. Helen Bottom. Oh. oh. How do you say her last name? Helen Bottom Carter. I don't okay. know what it is, something crazy. Okay. She's wild. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, she tried to break your dick off, I bet. You know who'd break my dick off is this one, and I just I'm so infatuated. Juliet, Juliet Lewis. Oh yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. Have uh, you seen the new Yellow Jackets show? No. Her? Oh, oh dude. You, you'd like it. <laughs> really? That's the best show I've seen in a long time. Really? It is really good. Awesome cannibalism mm -hmm. and oh. plane crashes and drugs and it's awesome. And then Murder. this one's a unique one. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Just something about it. Uh, Rumor Willis. Oh, I don't know. I can't picture she's her. She's pretty unique looking. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that one up. I mean, so now let's go with you now. Okay. All right. So, Courtney, you know. Better. I already know. Oh, so you I'm do. Not, I'm you not gonna guess. You don't know because I've changed it for this. Okay. Well, I was gonna go Katy Perry, but uh, let's see. Here. I don't think so. Two, Rumor what? Willis. I know. Pretty unique, huh? Yeah, that's interesting. I know. Is it because you're secretly attracted to Bruce? She doesn't look like Bruce, does she? I think a little she bit. does. <laughs> a little bit? I think yeah. she does. Really? Mm -hmm. Demi Moore, though, she's a nugget. Yeah, a but, nugget. Um, so, yeah, you guys want to guess? I don't know, because you changed it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, uh, let's see here. Okay, okay. I'm going to go with... Um, oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, Christina Ricci. 
That's a, that's a good guess. Yeah, I, I like. Well, I, like I know that. we're a writer. That too. That's pretty good. I'm in that wheelhouse. I got to type. Huh. Uh, I was gonna say Steve Irwin, Crocodile Hunter. Oh, Steve Irwin. Yep. I, I sh- didn't know if we're allowed to pick people that are dead. So, mm-hmm. um, so this is. I thought about this quite a bit because it. You know, Courtney is Brittany. You know. Mm-hmm. That's the one I talk about all the time to where, like, now I'm not allowed to talk about it because right. I, the joke is over. Right, right, I've right. worn it too thin. Um, Sandy Bullock. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's, she's got that. You got the. Wit, mo- she's got the witty attitude, kind of the, the sass. I think she's fucking funny. She brown is. hair. Yeah. You like the brown hair? Yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. All these people look like Courtney. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, I know. So, yeah. Um, okay. So there's that. I wonder what Jeff's really is. I don't know. I wish he was here. That's yeah. why I didn't want to do this without him. Well, we'll find out next week. Okay. What about you, though, Courtney? Are you guys so, going to guess? Yep. Yeah. Um, I picked Terry Crews for you. Nope. The guy that does the no, I know. big black guy with the muscles. Mm-hmm. Um, he's titties. funny. He's very funny, but no. Mel Gibson. What? <laughs> no. Um, uh, let's see here. It's a man, right? Okay. And let's go with... Oh, I, oh, 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 oh. Jason Bateman, or the bald dude, Jason Staten. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh-uh. What are your guesses? I did guess. I said Terry Crews. That was it. Yeah. Okay. No. Um. Tom Cruise. No. <laughs> no. Um. Uh. Actually, I don't even know his name. He's just like this actor who's in uh, a lot of like kind of. He's one of those that you don't like. It. If you saw his face. I'm not an actor. You'd see it, but it was like he was in the um, Gurney Pickle Bottom something or other. What the fuck are you trying to I'm Are you dreaming right now? No. Is this your dream? No. I can show you a picture of his face because he's been in a lot of movies, but like you're, uh, oh, he was in the Age of Adeline. So I have he no was, idea what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Like you would just Age of know. Adeline? I've never even heard of that movie. I know. So yeah, he's been in a lot of movies. Sam so. Elliott. No, I'll show I'll show you, but I don't know his name. Well, well, I think that you should have done your research and found the dude's name at least. Like you would have known. Like it's, it's okay. Well, yeah. damn. I mean, maybe someone that listening would. Well, no, no one's listening. Okay, so. all right. <laughs> no one's li- <laughs> okay, all right. Well, there it is, celebrity cheats. I think uh, question of the week next week because uh, we've all been in bands, um, and Jeff's got his new band, Pay to Spray. Um, Pay to Spray. That's so great. if you could go and uh, tour with any other group. What band would you want to go tour with? Don't answer now. Okay. We'll save it for next week. All right. All right, cool. I think that uh, we got some guests coming on pretty soon here. The Aqua Dolls, we're going to play one of their new songs. Nice. We played, the, I think that we played their latest one a while ago, right? Uh, we did a couple weeks ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, uh, they, but they have another one. Mm-hmm. It's called Cry Baby. It's their latest single. So, I think they did this one a Fat Mike, too. They did. So, <clears throat> so, I'm stoked to hear about that and how that all came about. Mm-hmm. And I guess, I, do you know who we're talking to? Uh, I think all of them. All of them? Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Looking forward to it. All right. This is Cry Baby.
take a kiss, but I'll also take a shag. I'm just a crying jack. Start video. There Start video. Hey! Hey! Hi. Hey. How's it Hi. going? Oh. Hello. Good. How are you guys? Pretty good. How are you guys how doing are you? this Sunday? We're, we're good. We're Sorry for being a little bit late. We were trying to figure out this like microphone thing, but I think we <laughs> yeah, got it working now. Awesome. I, no I love worries. the Britney in the background. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the room we're in is really messy, so it's just we're going to see Britney. Okay. All, right. <laughs> All right. Cool. Awesome. Well, yeah, where are you guys at right now? We're in La Mirada, California at my house. Sweet. Very yeah, cool. we are also in California. I was just going to oh, say, cool. how's the weather where you guys are? But yeah, <laughs> right, I know right. how it is. <laughs> um, Honestly, very Kelly. I haven't even been outside today. Oh, good for you. I don't know. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's a mystery to me, the weather. <laughs> you introduce, because I want to get their names as well. Yeah, just want to say, I'm Jeb. Hi. This is Will over here. Hello. And then I got my wife, Courtney, sitting on the couch. Hey. And who are we talking Hi. to today? Hi, I'm Melissa. And I'm Jackie. Hey. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Thanks for coming on. We just listened to your Crybaby song. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, thank ve- you so much. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, what song did we play? Oh, shoot. I wrote it down. But you guys have a couple singles out, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we put out Disappearing Girl That's last one. summer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Crybaby just came out last week. Very yeah. cool. So does this mean that you have an album coming out? Or are you just going to keep dropping we're, singles? We're working on it. We have one more single coming out, I think, uh, in April. Yeah. And then we're going to start going to the studio to record. Um, but these few singles that we put out, we've been kind of sitting on for a while. We recorded them in January 2020. Oh, wow. Oh. Like, right before Pandemo happened. Wow. Pandemo. And then um, we, like, kind of sat on them for a long time. So now they're, like, slowly coming out. Yeah. But um, <laughs> so we're ca- but behind the scenes, we're catching up, and we're going to be going to the studio soon. Awesome. But we're writing. We're in the writing process mm-hmm. for the album. How long have you guys been together as a band? Um, I started the band in 2012, so uh-huh. it's now been 10 years. Wow. But uh, it it wasn't always this lineup. <laughs> right, right. It, it took a little journey to get where we are, but Jackie joined and Kayla, um, our bass player, joined. I want to say 2018, was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jackie, what do you play? I play the drums. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. Yeah, cool. and I sing a little bit and a little bit of bass, but mostly drums. And okay. Melissa, you, what do you play? I sing and play guitar. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. And I'm also the producing wizard sometimes. Oh, oh. nice. Yeah. Are, are you, does that mean that you guys are recording stuff? like in-house or are you going somewhere to record? um the last few singles we did we recorded with fat mike from no effects i read that um, I was gonna ask. Cry, yeah crybaby was with him and disappearing girl was with him um but everything kind of prior was all done in this room with this little mic wow. or worse mic or no actually no i'm yeah. lying it was with this this we well, can't see me this mic what? With an ipod headphone that's how i made the dream and deception album no it was with the ipod Why? headphone that's and garage band so um you know we're making our way up and working with <laughs> wow. real producers now but yeah. i'm how still you, learning you, myself <laughs> how do you go from garage band to fat mic um our manager yeah Wow. Our manager, shout out to Rick DeVoe. He's been like a old friend of his, yeah. I guess. And um yeah, we we did a few sessions with him. They're really fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I bet. Yeah. That's the dream. So the new album is like do fat records or No, we're uh we released through NC Records. Okay. Um and they'll they'll be putting out uh our next single and the album eventually whenever it's done. <laughs> cool. Awesome. And wow. and you are going on a tour very shortly yeah yeah we leave in 19 days oh my goodness how excited are you guys excited, excited. <laughs> I bet. We have, yeah. we, we, that was like a nervous like <clears throat> more not even nervous it's just like we have so much we need to prepare to like yeah there's a lot get there in 19 days <laughs> that's what i was gonna ask like what are your preparations like like are you planning oh, no. like on the downtime like what are you taking so <gasps> that you're not bored <laughs> um i mean oh. well me and jackie are the truck drivers we like somehow never get bored and like because there's always something to do yeah there's never downtime like, ever yeah hmm. there's never really downtime and so it's almost like honestly the driving sometimes is the like rest time mm-hmm. but it's like 
we were still driving. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, I don't know if she just said it. I, I missed it. I'm sorry. But you guys are going on tour. Is it going to be America? North America? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're okay. going to be doing the uh, a full U.S. tour. Oh, wow. Cali to New York and back. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. Cool. Mm-hmm. When, when, have you been playing at all since the pandemic? Yeah, we uh, our first couple of shows back were last summer, and our very first show back was opening for Jimmy Eat World at a sold out Lollapalooza thing. Oh, uh, bummer! Just some small Absolutely stuff. Absolutely insane, <laughs> and they were really kind, but it was just like a trip to like not play for so long, and then we're yeah. like thrust onto this big Literal? stage. Right. So that was cool. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did Lollapalooza. We did Ohana Fest. We did Beach, Beach Life Fun. Fest. Oh, wow. So we just did a few festivals last yeah. year. Um, but now it's exciting this year that we get to go back to clubs and play like smaller, intimate venues yeah, for the bands. So that's, that's that's like my favorite. You prefer that, intimate. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's that's yeah. cool. You guys, you're doing a lot. You're busy. Yeah, we're doing our best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of practicing to do. Yeah, we, like we have to rehearse, yeah, more. and you kind of have to get like a little bit in shape too. Like mm. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like. Oh, like yeah. and I'm like, cause I'm like unloading and loading and mm-hmm. a lot, lots and, of carrying gear and yeah. heavy lifting boxes oh, and drums. stamina. Water. I remember those days. We, right. we mm-hmm. all play. We're our own roadies. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes, I know those. We've days. all been in bands. Yeah, it's really cool that eight ten uh, amp peg cabinet dragging it upstairs at two in the morning. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've been oh, there. Hey, the I've had we, it fall uh, out of the back of the truck that cabinet once. Oh, oh, right in the middle goodness. of the fucking street. Oh, no. The tailgate came down. Went sliding out. The things we do for love, huh? Yeah. The things we do. <laughs> Have you ever had anything like any crazy stories like that happen oh. to you as you're as dropping you're, stuff? Yeah, or like anything that's like, oh my god, wh- how did that happen while you're on the road? When when Kayla oh. was playing keyboard, that keyboard fell so many times. Oh, yeah. and, like, we didn't have like a good. We case didn't have for a it. door shut one time, and we had to oh. hold. We had to hold our other manager, JC. Like, she had like a jacket on or something, right? And we held her because yeah. she had to close the door while we were on the freeway or something we, like and so we we're like we're we have a video her. of it yeah and oh my like, god because we were on the freeway yeah. and like the back yeah. trunk had, door yeah, opened so, with what? all of our gear and um so i don't know how that happened uh, yeah. she, and we it pulled was, over on the side of the freeway eventually right? I, yeah. I think but she had to close it <laughs> yeah that was, that was not fun that's because. a gnarly story or when the, the van hit the ceiling there's <gasps> a clearance in canada and like our manager he was like we can do it and like no like we in a can't. parking structure we literally it literally <laughs> says the height right there and we know that our van is taller that like what he's like let's just try let's just try uh, and luckily, right at the top of the rental these van two guys oh, came no. walking by and were like do you need some help right now or like, right now. Okay. and it was like a but, giant pole on the ceiling yeah, of this parking so structure and like up. these like so random men on the street came and like lifted this pole just so we could like Get scoot out. our van in just to park our car Literally, because there was yeah. no other place to park and we had no choice so. oh my goodness i'm gonna steal courtney's almost every question wait let me start Go over Go let me start. It. i'm gonna steal her question she was gonna ask you mm-hmm. now that's amazing but do you have any life lessons from the road life lessons in the sense of maybe <clears throat> <laughs> things to do, things not to do. I mean, life lessons. Because a lot, a lot of people listening are in bands. Yeah. Okay. So for people, who, advice. Yeah, maybe. advice. Yeah. I don't know. That's kind of a weird question. Life yeah, lessons. Not at all. You want to? You want to try? Yeah. Because um, <laughs> we're still learning ourselves. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Communication is important. Yes. Sure. We have a song about it. <laughs> yeah. There so there's <laughs> that. Right. And making sure, like, I don't know, like, that, sleep. Yeah, like, you guys are all good on sleep. Like, if someone isn't good on sleep, like, maybe t- step up a little bit more, like, and let them rest or mm-hmm. kind of have to, like, mesh with each other's energy and, like, be there when someone's down. And then they would be, you know, like, I just feel like you have to make sure everyone's good mm-hmm. and kind of check in on each other a lot mm-hmm. because we can get just, like, us three can get pretty in our heads about things. Sure, sure. But also, that's just human. So, right. Yeah, I just think like checking in and just being like, everyone feels. Safe I think maybe and- you could agree with this because most of the people we ask this question to, their their answer mainly, and it really is this: don't be a dick. 
<laughs> and yeah, I think you can understand. I, I mean, they even people. They sometimes we even have them saying that quote. Yeah. Well, don't be a yeah. dick. Yeah. They're like, don't be a dick. Yeah. And so I think you can actually agree with that, right? Oh yeah. Don't be <laughs> totally. a dick. Right. Yeah. Right. Totally. It, you, Especially because you're crammed in such right. a tiny little Just space. To, you're in a van for all like in the same boat here. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hours a day yeah. in the van. Sometimes like I need space. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm for just sure. Like, hey, this is not personal. I literally just need some space. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. are you Five an? In- so then you're an introvert, right? So, are like, what are what is the every single member of the band introvert, extrovert, introvert, extrovert? I guess. I mean, oh, I guess God. you would. Yeah. Like, cause I don't even know. I, 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 I kind of forget like the like the actual meaning of like what introvert, introvert is like. You're kind of like you're intru- shy. Like, like, no, no, you need you need your own time. You need you need your own space. Yeah, and the extrovert, you get lit up by like being around people all the time. I see. I feel like I'm a little bit of both because mm-hmm. like I do get overwhelmed by people all the time. I'm like hiding in the back while like they're supposed to, I'm supposed to be out there like signing merch or like helping and like I get really tired after I play, but like so sometimes like I'll be like, I'm this is I cannot talk to people right now. Like, I need to go to bed. I need to load this gun. Yeah. I need to go to bed. Yes. yes. But then also But I'm the crazy one that's also, like, let's need, talk yeah, to yeah, everyone. I, 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 I feed off the energy. Like when I play, I do. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it's like Jackie, yeah. would I'm sorry to interrupt you, but would you maybe say that you are done peopling? <laughs> At the I end would of say it, I'm done peopling. Yeah, I would. <laughs> nice. I, that's I'm what, just so tired. Like I literally just need to play and go to sleep. Like that's what, what Courtney gonna, said. What are we going to talk about right now? I don't like, even. I, I don't really sleep. So like I'm the opposite. I'm like let's talk to literally everyone. <laughs> I don't want to leave. It's, no, it's good though. Like, yeah, that's good. That's, I just it's just I'm like, bad. like I should me. work. On. That's me. I, and like, I try. I try. We it just had a conversation up. earlier in the podcast about how I wanted to hang out with neighbors, but I couldn't people anymore. I just <laughs> needed to go to bed. And Jeb was like, "Let's party till one o'clock in the morning." So yeah. you both I, are I saying the same. Me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done peopling. <laughs> you, you guys even yeah. bring a yoga instructor with you. What? Your, your tour yeah. managers, your yoga instructor. I watched your yes. little documentary this morning. That's amazing. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they were doing truck stop same. yoga, Courtney. What? Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I know. We, we should bring that back. We really, it's so important. We've all been trying to do our yogas in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yogas. yeah. I did. I did my yeah. yoga this morning. I try to do it almost every day. Maybe I missed a couple of days. But yeah. Yo- shout day. out to Yoga with do Adrian we, on we, YouTube. Oh, oh, yeah. We love yoga. With, there's one She's other really good. Yoga, like, but yeah, no, we, we have to, we do the yoga. I do running every day, like almost every day. I do like the 10 minute but yeah, Jace, full body stretch. JC is the yoga up. master. Like yeah. she literally, she keeps did you, us sane. Did you bring her by design because she was yoga master or she's a friend or how did like did <laughs> she's it just work out manager's daughter she's our manager's daughter oh, and oh so she had to go taking the reins so yeah very she's cool our manager she she's our tour the, manager yeah okay i guess you'd say yeah perfect wow that's cool that is a perfect blend <laughs> This is a- and she also just happens to be, uh, she was the world's youngest yoga instructor, yeah, age she's like 12 not a or person. something. What? Yeah, that's not a person. So she's our tour manager and also the world's youngest she's instructor, like even though she's 21 now. But, yeah. wow. <laughs> just a fun fact she's about JC DeBeau, very- who we love. That's yeah, cool. That's goddess. super cool. Well, what is the craziest thing a band, excuse me, what is the craziest thing a crowd member of the audience ever did? at one of your shows there's a lot i mean like back in the day like i want to say like 2016 when i went on my first u.s tour for some reason there was like this whole thing about celery in my band and i never understood why but like do you remember this like there like Uh, people would like bring stocks of celery to shows why but the the celery were they stocking you people would like Uh. make edits (laughs) They would like make like Photoshop like my face onto like things of celery and be like celery queen. And I never understood why I literally never sang about it or anything. (laughs) And then people would like bring like chopped celery, like stocks of celery. (laughs) I don't know why. Did you have a song about it? No, no, no. Like literally we, I never found out why it happened, but I I, like felt bad and I didn't want to be rude. So like we would take celery. Sometimes I would like (laughs) eat it with people and like they would want me to like film myself eating eating it with them and like there and then so like it would like rot in the back of the van there would be all this celery it was really weird <laughs> that, so that, is... that was like a weird thing um if you guys if any fans are listening right now and you want to bring us stuff um <laughs> not celery what do we want we want coconut water what do we want okay <laughs> yeah chocolate not celery yeah 
That is, that is a weird. Yeah, not not celery though. That was very strange. That's you don't think it's one of your weird. friends that was messing with you that started it and it just got out of it control? It was a fan that started it. Okay, just that is, that is I so don't know. strange. What if People it was are me, so like, damn I weird. never said anything? It was <laughs> you? No, but, like, what if... And, like, that's why I'm in the band. <laughs> that would be really funny. Would you make that would skit? be crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. I would believe it. I, I, I nothing surprises me. Anymore. I mean, you yeah. find like a bag of celery in my trunk. <laughs> <gasps> it was you, <laughs> the celery stalker. Do you want to do do yeah. use and have use, Will? I don't know if we're gonna do those, do but to? um, I was gonna say maybe one more question. That would be a, when's the last book you guys read, mm. or or oh, is reading, or hilarious. is reading. Okay. I don't really There's, read. I don't know. I you, started you read reading. That. I started reading the Dave Grohl, um, with his like well, what's it called. Just with his mom no the new uh, one oh and the new one it's like notes or i forget what it's called exactly i'm like <laughs> that's bad but it's like no it's like notes from dave Grohl or something yeah oh. diary it's, yep. diary I, kind of, it's kind of like a diary t- he puts diary out so dave. much he's he puts he out puts so out much lot. shit i can't it's keep insane. up i love him but he's like my my fave my are you gonna go see the movie studio I, 666 when it it's out it's out. I knew it. I, we, were try- we were trying. We were trying to finesse to our way into the movie premiere, but then it didn't work out. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was sad. We we're, were trying to get on a red carpet mm-hmm. grind. But yeah. Oh, that would have been maybe been so later cool. this year. I had, maybe I, next time. I know somebody that got in. Ooh, I was so jealous. So cool. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. They know someone that got in. To yeah. The carpet. But oh, it's all right. Lucky. Whatever yeah, you know, know, but that looks awesome. Yeah. Uh, Courtney, you got a couple more questions? Yeah. So okay. So you're not big readers. So when you're driving, mm-hmm. are you listening to music? Are you yes. music podcasts? Okay. Podcasts music. and music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I do um, word searches. Word I searches. Word oh, yeah. I love those things. Remember word searches? Yeah. I do. <laughs> I, don't know. I had a bunch of the books. I'm like, yeah, this is the book. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing this like is, Sudoku yeah. or anything. Uh, let me ask a question. Oh. Uh, do you guys have you ever had a paranormal experience? Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes, and yes. Come on, share. Sure. There's like it. multiple. We've times. had many. We've had we many. We stayed in yeah. some really creepy Airbnbs. The like, creepiest. I mean, like go like like, like middle of America town. weirdness. Yeah. Whoa. Like, Tell us what you saw. Had dolls in them. Huh? No. Did you see any ghosts? I well, remember that like book, that book we were reading. It was like filled with, it was like a book. Like people looked like they had this like, it wasn't like a clean house. Like it's like as if they were like fled, yeah, abandoned the house. Yes, yeah, so they, they, like, they had all, all their, their things, they had like, all their clothes, their like computers, yeah. laptops, so iPads. That like, energy was already really. Weird. It was and like someone just like doll left. in the basement in the like a cabinet that the doll. Remember? Like, and I didn't go look at it. No, there was, <laughs> that, was that, that was that was another one. That that one house that but was like abandoned. Book. That, yeah, they had all those like witchcraft books that in one room, weird. and, we were, and like, then like the room it. that I was supposed to stay in was like the little yeah. kids' room or something. Ugh, you, guys, yeah. you guys suck. Uh, but yeah. were you? And it would have. It would have <laughs> no, been. No, it would have been. been in the it would have been my own quarters, and I would have had She's my like, own I'm, room, my own bed, and my own bathroom, and everything. It was a but it was a basement, and the there doll. were creepy dolls in the closet where I just opened the door. I saw all the. I saw Kit Kidridge or whatever it was, and I started screaming and was like. Absolutely not! I will be sleeping on the couch, <laughs> and I could have no, had my that... whole sleeping quarters. And I refused and just took the couch. There was it guy, was haunted. There that was would a be guy me. outside in the backyard, like like looking. <gasps> what? Yeah. And our manager like stayed up and like he didn't actually tell us the next until he's like I didn't want to tell you girls like that night, but like he, he told he, us the he, next day that there like, was I someone did. in our yard. He was, like keeping an eye on him, and I think he like said to go away or like something, and then he never oh. wow. just someone trespassing in our Airbnb. Creepy, like I mean casual. Were right behind the house. Yes, like, like, I mean it was like straight Trees out of like, I got one thing I forgot. To, I would like to tell you about stuffed animals real quick. I have a huge, giant self or gorilla that yes. is the size of a gorilla, but it's a stuffed animal. And I have a place that I put it into uh, up at the mountain house that I have, and it was in a little room up there, and it's sitting there. I completely forgot. I completely forgot that I had this big old creature stuffed animal, and I let them have uh, Courtney and Jeb stay with me, and they went into the room. (laughs) I crawled, and she turned on the light I crawled and there's a Jeff. fucking gorilla sitting right I there was, and she's tried, uh, tried I think she tried to pull her husband in front of her I was just yeah. like clawing yeah. to get I, out of the you know, room I, I was like it was like after a show I forgot to tell him midnight it was like yeah. what the no. fuck is happening right now I would have like peed my pants I would have I, <laughs> I would have passed away 
<laughs> I, I felt so bad. And then the next day, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's a stuffed gorilla up yeah. there. I apologize. Yeah, Courtney oh, found yeah, it. My bad. And the reason why I bring this up is because you saw dolls. I didn't want to. Yeah. That's how it worked. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you girls into tattoos? We love tattoos. Yeah. So we don't really have that I don't really have that many, love, but I, I like looking at them. Okay. And I think they're really cool. Yeah. So we do tattoo. I'm of needles. Yeah. No, they're. Yeah. But, um,. We do tattoo roulette. So would you have an idea to throw into the pot for tattoo roulette? It could be anything. Oh, yeah. I have a really good one. This okay. is All one right. that I wanted to get when I was 17. I'm really glad I didn't. But if you are if you need a really <laughs> bad tattoo idea that's really detailed, this yeah. one. Okay. So it's going to be an ocean wave. And on the ocean wave, it's going to be Bart Simpson surfing. But he's sitting on a lawn chair on the surfboard eating a piece of pizza and on the edge of the surfboard is a tv um playing what is the tv playing um <laughs> teenage mutant ninja turtles playing south park oh yeah. all right <laughs> me and will just had this so, conversation off air so there medical. there it is there you go i'm I, putting I that really into like the, it. i'm putting that into the roulette so um i have a one final question i will let you guys get out of here um at your funeral what song is playing mm. Doesn't have to be an Aqua Doll song, you be any song. Mine is As by Stevie Wonder. As? Mm-hmm. I don't, okay. I don't know that one. It's All right, All right. I'll check it out. But that's that's mine. Okay. Right. I, play, I want like to the windows, to the walls. Like I want it to be a party. <laughs> yeah. Mine, mine is a party too. Like, yeah. <laughs> mine is a party too. <laughs> like play like Lil John, play Charlie XCX, play like some. Probably, like, oh, like fighters. the hamster dance would be like a really fun one. Everlong. Stairway. Oh. Oh yeah. Everlong. Wow. Stairway. Um, Stairway's a good funeral. This is going to be a long funeral. I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's going to be like a concert, honestly. Just have a bunch of bands yeah. play. And oh, like, that would be cool. Like, just like, if you want to cry, cry. I'm like crying in a mosh pit. Like, just, <laughs> right, right, just, right. just prop up just my body. Make sure I'm in full drag. And like, <laughs> and like, you can, you're like, you guys can mime my dead body and make me sing and like, have it's just not, have fun. Let's not gather to cry. <laughs> let's just like, gather to like, I'd like yeah, to go. I and just want my funeral to be a giant party. Yeah. Can I nice. attend your funeral? That sounds like fun. I'd like <laughs> yeah, to be there. You're totally invited. Y'all are totally invited. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, so what's next? Okay. You guys are doing your your you're doing your tour. You got the new album coming out. Anything else you guys want to promote? Um. Uh, yeah. Go. Everyone, go listen to yeah. Cry Baby. It just came mm. out. We just put a music video together, and it's like kind of like 60s, 70s inspired, picture day, fun, wacky times, campy, <laughs> John Waters realness, Whoa. if you're oh. into that. Nice. Yeah. Um, so go go stream our new song. And mm-hmm. uh, if you want to get tickets to see us on tour, you can get them by going to the-aquadolls.com slash tour. And you'll find all of our dates and all of our tickets. And uh, stay tuned for more uh, stuff we have coming up. We're going to definitely be on the road more later this year after the tour we have, but we can't say too much now, but All know right. that we definitely uh, will be traveling a lot this year. Yeah. Very right. cool. Well, if, you get the, if you get to California near Santa Barbara, we definitely would like to have another interview with you. Yeah. And uh, yep. yeah. come see you. Come and, come and play. And, and definitely right. come see you and, and all that. And any shows you guys want to come to, let us know. We'll get you guys. All right. Nice. Sounds good. Well, thank very you very cool. much for thank spending you. some time. You guys are amazing. We're loving the new stuff. Yes. So that's awesome. Thank Fantastic so stuff. Thank you for doing this yeah, and taking you. the time we to talk to us. It. Of course. No. no. It's a small little indie fun. band. This is a really fun interview, actually. Oh, yay. Good. I usually get really bored in interviewing. I don't know. That sounds so like egotistical. I'm sorry, but like that's not what I meant. I, yeah. I just meant more. It was fun. It was fun. Well, you know yeah, what? You guys have the best energy. Thank you. Well, <laughs> you're lucky we we're didn't just, get. I was being nice. People. I was being nice today. Sorry. We didn't give you the the really gnarly questions. We were oh. trying to be nice. Oh, the gnarly ones. Oh, like you have, next time. Have yeah. you ever shit yourself? Have I ever shit myself yeah. in general? Yeah. Or on tour? Yeah, on, yeah. On, how about on tour? I don't. Did you shit on tour? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, forget it. We don't have to. Forget, don't have to. <laughs> forget it. I'm sorry. I did. I. I'm embarrassed myself. No. Oh, no, I'm an open book. I have no shame. Oh, I'm awesome. Yeah. yeah. Everyone. Everyone's got a butthole. We all poop. Yep. That's, that's true. You I know think, what? That's. That's gonna be the quote of the night. Everyone's got a butthole. Yep. We all poop. Yep. yep. That is great. I think with we're that, all, we're all the same. Throw that into the test. We're all the same. We're all skin, flesh, and bones. And yes, we all poop. ma'am. 
I, I, I think with, I don't that. think we're going to get any uh, better on that. I think that's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 okay. yes, thank hey, you very much. Thank, thank you, guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you very thank much. You guys. We'll talk Have to you soon. Night. Yeah, okay. we'll talk you soon. Too. All right, bye-bye. Bye. 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 All right, thanks so much, Melissa and Jackie. That was high energy. I liked them a lot. They came in swinging. That was a very good interview. I liked them. Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely have to have them back on. Go see them. Yes. They've I want to go really see them. Show. I think they're coming through the, our area. So. Yep, they are. Awesome. I, I saw all their dates. So oh, they to, are? Yep. Right. Yep. So go. Uh, well, they said they put us on the list. Ah. Yeah. I like getting on the list. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm on the list tonight, son. Ooh. Backstage, Circle Jerks, Adolescence, and Negative Approach. That's right. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be fun. So how, much, you, how I, much do I punish the Circle Jerks to come onto our show? Uh, I would say... Maybe just ask. Maybe just mention it and just, passing. Just mention it. Okay. <laughs> but then after that, fucking settle down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. That would you ever be part time. of a circle jerk if you were invited to? No. One? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean. Would you? Well, I don't know what it is. I guess you jerk them off in front of. Yeah, other dudes. You sit in a circle and jerk off. Oh. That's got to be a thing. That's why you call it. I, I, I've never been invited to one. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you are abandoned, you would like to come. <laughs> that was the worst transition ever. It's the next thing in the notes. I know. Uh, if you like what you're hearing, please like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you're turning oh, red right now. Uh, 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 share with a friend. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Oh, oh fuck. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like nonsense.com. We're on all the listening platforms Spotify, Apple, you better do that. Yeah. Hit, a, hit that like, hit that five star, leave a review. If you want to call and talk some shit, I'm getting weird ones still. Mm hmm. Um, nonsensical stuff. <sighs> and I'm just not going to play that. So, 1 805 697 7078. That's how you get that done. Hit us up. Sounds like nonsense. Gmail.com. Mm-hmm. All that stuff. Share with a friend. If you're a band, submit, man. We get Courtney puts a lot of time into the pages and. Um, on our website, it's got all your information, photos, details. Um, so you take it, like it, share it. You know, put it on your pages, whatever. Right. You know, um, it looks cool. Yeah. Um, so lots of work Courtney has been doing, and then Courtney also we have videoed all of these shows um, from the very beginning. So we <laughs> are currently Sorry. currently going through and editing all of our shows. So we're going to have interviews um, and snippets and stuff coming up. It's going to take. It's taking a long time. There's a lot of footage, mm-hmm. um, and we are not professionals, so no. <laughs> we do it when we can. So we will keep you posted yeah. on how that will be rolled out and all that kind of stuff. Did you have something you wanted to say? You got your little phone ready right there. I'm ready for my segment. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess now it's time for Sport Me segment. segment. <clears throat> okay, so um, I wanted to talk about. Um, <laughs> In our lives right now, we're dealing with a lot of different situations to where it's like, if you just do the right thing, sometimes it's hard, harder than doing, um, uh, doing the right thing is harder than doing the wrong thing, you know, like trying to be scandalous. But in the end, doing the right thing is the right, is the right thing every time. Um, and so I wanted to, we've been talking to Riley about this. It's like, hey, you know, in certain situations, just stand up and be the bigger person mm-hmm. um, and those kind of things. And I have been following um, Gary V for quite a while. I already talked about. Gar- say again, I'm sorry. Gary V. V, okay. Um, and he's like really successful, all these things. But he, it, he really talks about radical kindness um, and so I wanted to share a couple of different clips because I felt like it's really tied to um, what uh, we have been in our personal lives dealing with and talking about. So I'm going to turn this up here and put it into the microphone. And the title is, um, shoot. You could have had me do it. All you had to do, did, you were trying to surprise me? I, I guess. Um, <laughs> I what happened, does kindness really work is, is basically the tagline for what it is. Okay, let's see there if this. An instance in your life when being kind, you actually saw a positive outcome. Of course. I was able to invest in a company, Tumblr, after the round was closed single-handedly because I was a gracious and kind person to three people who behind the scenes reopened a closed funding round, which is unheard of, to get me in. What people say behind your back who actually know you is the most important thing when it comes to business. Not the comments you get on social media from somebody who's never met you, not other things. People that have actually interacted with you and done business 
What are they saying when you're not in the room? When you are able to deploy kindness and good traits, even people that came to you with negativity will be unbelievably affected by your humanity and they will communicate that to others. Well, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got a weird look on your face. What are you doing? I have one more. Oh, okay. <laughs> because this is this is literally talking about being the bigger person. All right. If somebody is taking the time to come onto my account, consume my content, and then say I suck, I don't think that's a reflection on me. I think it's a reflection on them. I literally 45 minutes ago had somebody say to a piece of content, Gary, this is ridiculous. You're not that special. I replied, well, that's not what my mom said, comma, because I looked at the person's account. Your photography is remarkable. When you're in a great place, you can always be the bigger person. To me, humanity and kindness is the answer always to darkness. Yeah. And this kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. And it's just something that has been top of mind for us this week, yeah. for sure. And it's just something that I just kind of wanted to put out there and mention because especially in this day and age where there's so many trolls, you know, posting on the, um, on any social that you have. And it's like, maybe sometimes you're just posting just, you know, to post and then somebody trolls you or whatever. And I really liked how he was talking about how he's like, you know, he kind of said something witty back, but then also was like, Hey, but also like your photography is really awesome. You know what I mean? And just kind of paying it forward to be like, showing kindness even though that person was kind of being mean to him yeah yeah but maybe he's being um manipulating you know like sure. you know like hey it's okay put me down your photography's great you well, know we, what i mean we, haven't we talked about who was it gwyneth paltrow or something like had someone say horrible things to them on twitter or something and they, they just replied back i'm so sorry that you're having problems day, and yeah. blah 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 and then it totally flip flop their mindset and they wrote this really nice like I really needed that I'm sorry mm. I don't know why I was lashing out at you I have these problems happening at home you t reaching out to me directly really means a lot and mm. I did I'm sorry for what I said right. I can't remember it was someone famous but I don't remember that yeah. but yeah but um anyways just when when in doubt try to do the right thing and be the bigger person because um your reputation means a lot especially when you're in a small community and you you're you know you have a business or or whatever that may be so do you think being kind um okay where am i going to get out of a, a ticket would work get it out of police t uh, ticket Sometimes. i tell you what it doesn't hurt Sometimes. right you know and, you know people are just trying to do their jobs too Mm -hmm. You know, I got to make tough decisions all the time and right. I just got to do my job. Mm -hmm. Do your fucking job. And, and also people come at you You're like, man, I'm just trying to do my job. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, right, like, right, right. you know, so if people are kind to me, even if they're disagreeing, it, it helps. It helps. Yeah. You know, like, hey, it's coming at this from a place like let's not start it at 11. You know, like mm -hmm. I know you're mad, but let's maybe start it at four or five. <laughs> you and know, I, I open up doors. Uh, I don't know why I do that. I don't know, but I, it's common courtesy, correct? I mean, opening sure. up doors mm -hmm. for Manners somebody. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I always hold doors open for everyone. To a fault, I'll stand there fucking 10 minutes. <laughs> Keep it going. Just come. Come on. Yeah. I'm standing here already. Get it done. <laughs> we got some shit about it. Get in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and But you know what really sucks is that I bought a cop lunch once. Yeah, I did, and I bought his partner lunch once. Yeah. Okay, and then you know a week later, um, I uh, literally, literally swear on my life, picked up my cell phone to look at what time it was. Right, because I don't have a clock in my old truck, and the cop behind me pulled me over, and, and I, it, it was him, and it was him. What? And, and he said, "Are you dumb?" I said, "What? Start over." <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Too. Yes, I am. I'm very dumb. No, <laughs> start over. Yeah, no, no. He's all dumb. You can't pick up a cell phone in front of me, and it just bummed me out that I just spent like you know forty dollars for them to have lunch to have him humiliate me mm. when truly I was looking at it for time. But you are not allowed to if you are in your car yeah. to touch your phone. I broke a rule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did he give you a ticket? No. Uh, well, so, so but he didn't recognize me. Oh, he didn't. No, I, well, of course not. So that's when I said I spit on your sandwich. Yep. What? That's yeah. not kind. No, I didn't spit in the sandwich. He, not, doesn't, he didn't work at the sandwich place. I, I think you were getting mixed up. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Who is that guy? Uh, that is Gary V. And where? Did, just Instagram or some shit? Oh, dude. He's everywhere. If you if oh. you type in Gary V, like if you don't know Gary V, oh, I yeah. don't know. He's big. Okay. <laughs> in, the business, in the business world and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I have no idea. Never heard it. Mm -hmm. uh, being a businessman myself, never heard of fucking. <laughs> uh -huh. But that's why I get you. I know. <clears throat> All right. Well, thank you very much. 
Thank you to the to the Aqua Dolls again. That, that was, was really great. fun. Heck yeah. yeah. I think we play another song now. Yeah. You ready? All right. Agreed. This is Souls Extolled. The song is it's their latest single. It's called Right in My Life. souls extolled and they have an album that's in roman numerals right <laughs> so i don't know what this is it's m m x x i i do you know what that means in roman numerals i just am listening to you and i did not take that in because i was reading something so no yeah I... so um an eclectic 12 song modern rock album ranging from grunge and ska punk to indie rock and proto metal um the artist that produce it, oh, wait, like the artist that produce it, it is a product of its time. As such, these songs are a reflection of the moment in time for the members of Sold Extolled and were made without any limitation or rule other to, to express themselves honestly through the music. For them, this is the standard of true art. So we um, will post Souls Extolled. I, I apologize. I this do is, not... by the way, it's... 2,222. So. Oh. <laughs> it's, duh. Wow. You really don't watch football. That's a that's, f- that's how I learned. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> how to read Roman numerals. Okay. Yeah. No. That makes total sense. And now I feel really stupid. So I apologize. Soul like Soul. But um, yeah. Um, you can find them great. on Spotify. Yep, we're going to we're gonna post all the things. Um, but yeah. That was that was. Soul They're cool. They get, a, they get a great sound. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you you curated a nice show today. Everyone's got kind of a similar sound. A yeah. little, little bit more on the indie side. Mm-hmm. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, I think it's time to get into Will's segment. What do we think? Oh, shit. Are we still doing it? <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you were dreaming to this world as a young man. Now. Welcome to Culture Corner. Yay! I like it. I like it. And you said corner. <laughs> I did oh, say that. Oh, you did say corner. Yeah. Uh, you were dreaming to this world as a young man. Where was I going with that? I, I have know. no idea. I was like, I was, I was like, whoa, that's deep. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I was thinking? I, I, I was going to narrate like a, a trailer for a movie, you know? And oh. it sounded like he was a young kid at the age of 14. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Coming through a world. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, hey, I think I, I'm you pretty could do that. sure that you have the connections needed to be that movie trailer guy. <laughs> movie trailer guy. Wouldn't I'm, that be just great? I'm pretty sure that you have the connections I would to like do that. It. I would love I would it. want to go with you and uh, just laugh. Oh, that would be so much fun. <laughs> yeah, 250 takes. I'm trying to just say, like, 
I'm trying to say the weight, you know, or something, you know. <laughs> this summer, the blue book. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, that would be terrible. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. This is the time where we do the count, the corner count. This is the time where we talk about a little bit of culture, but I do want to admit to you guys, ladies and gentlemen, that I don't very much have something for you that might be entertaining, entertaining, but I do have a story I'd like to tell you. Okay. And hopefully the meaning of the story will therefore be... Culturally significant. Significant, absolutely. Easy wears off. I you. know. Um... <laughs> By the way, if you don't know someone or you do know someone, just tell them you love them once in a while. That's oh. the moral of the story. Oh, okay. When I was a young little boy, I uh, collected baseball cards. I enjoyed it as a young kid. I also used to play uh, soft, uh, baseball when I was a young kid in peewee baseball. Uh, I'm giving you a little too many details, but I'm going to tell you anyways. I was very <laughs> overweight, and um, I was not able to fit into any of my baseball uniforms. Therefore having to wear my mother's sweatpants. That's a true story. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, obviously, the fat boy becomes the old catcher. I was a catcher. Um, in my mother's sweatpants. And that is a true story. <laughs> Moving along, I would go and collect baseball cards from a wonderful older man that uh, was in Solvang, and this is about 30 years ago. And I uh, collected them and you know, bought my baseball cards and I saved up money to buy baseball cards out of album. You know, the time of innocence when you really cared about love, life and you were just such a young boy and you loved uh, to collect things. And, and I did so. Uh, throughout the years, you get up into your teens, you fade away. You don't care about baseball cards anymore. You know, you care more about women or girls and, 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 and going out to parties and all that good stuff. I did not. I still <laughs> like playing. I still like collecting my baseball cards. <laughs> so I was really cool in high school. <laughs> um, anyways, you know, that was a snort. Like, I, cool, you want to play baseball cards? <laughs> <laughs> so I'd visit this man uh, since I was a young kid, even throughout my teens, and we would sit and we would talk uh, and collect baseball cards. And at the time, I knew a little bit about baseball. I faded away, uh, and I didn't get to see him anymore because I moved out of town. I went to Hollywood. Uh, I ended up moving around. And, you know, being an adult, young adult, things comes, you know, completely more mature than being a uh, card collector. <laughs> so when I finally got to be in my 30s, I, there's, a, there's a point to this story, guys. Okay. In my 30s, I still could, uh, I, I found my old baseball card album, and it reminded me of him. And in my 30s, I went back, and I still saw him. And wow. he was still there, an older man now, more gray hair. And we talked, and he couldn't remember my face because it's been about a decade. And mm. he then kind of realized, oh, yeah, I remember those cheeks. This is a quote. <laughs> cheeks. I remember your cheeks. I'm assuming fat. But he <laughs> he said, I like those cheeks. I remember that. Your name is Will. And is then it? you pulled your pants up, and you're like, thanks, <laughs> mister. <laughs> yeah, thanks, mister. After he threw his condom away. Anyways, um, that was weird. Edit that. <laughs> So here we are talking about this, you know, life stories and everything. And I didn't spend too much time uh, talking because, you know, at that age, I was 30 and I thought I knew everything about the world. But it was nice seeing him. In my late 30s to 40s, I started seeing him again. And it was really nice to see him. I went into his store and uh, we talked and had a great time. And now this time he doesn't know my name. I, I, that's fine. But we talked. And it was really cool to have an actual connection to... Uh, my childhood, which was mm. innocent. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. The innocence of childhood and to have a connection with a man that was there to witness it all. I went into the store yesterday and his section of the store had his lights out. Aww. And I said, is Tom here or whatever? And they said, oh no, he passed away in October. Mm. And it broke my heart because I didn't have... Uh, 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 connection in the sense of saying goodbye or anything like that and it was a part of my innocence that went mm. you know what I mean like the innocence that you have when you're a young kid that was he knew that and had seen me grow up throughout the years and talking and to walk into an old black cold store that I've seen my whole life mm -hmm. till 40 and to have him say yeah no he passed away in October from cancer mm. wow. I was very sad <clears throat> it broke my heart um but then, two days later, 
I got something in the mail, and he willed his whole store to me. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm joking. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. So sorry. That was fucked up. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> it got so somber for a second. I know, it did. Yeah. I know. Will, you're a hell of a storyteller. You had me. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, so my point is, when you see somebody out there that you kind of know and don't know, just give them a hug or say hello and just say, hey, man, I love you. I miss you. Or, you know, maybe if you're not even that close to that person, just say, hey, hi, hello, whatever. That man was a great man. He was part of my innocence. And with that being said, try to be kind or at least go out of your way to be kind. Or just let them know what or they let mean them know. to you. Because, or what they mean to you. You know, just by saying that, because he, he did mean something to you. And it helps people to know that. Because you can walk through life and not realize how many people that you touch do you know what I'm saying? Like you After the story, you have to have a shot of whiskey or oh, whatever. Dang. No, no, I'm joking, by the way. I'm fine. But you're correct, and I'm sorry I interrupted you because I didn't let him know right. that he meant a lot to me mm-hmm. in my 40s, in my 30s. But you said he didn't even remember you, right? I mean, is that... Yeah. So, yeah. Know, yeah. That's okay yeah. just to go in and be kind, just for right. kind's sake. You didn't have to get anything extra out of it. That's no. true. You know? Sounds... Well, Will, that was a very touching story. That was beautiful. For most of it. <laughs> I don't know where your mom's sweatpants and that had nothing thing. to do with the story. <laughs> I had to throw a little. It's it just a little flavor. Yeah, a little flavor. Yeah. <laughs> a little flavor. And one more thing, and I'll yeah. let you guys okay. go. Is right. I, I did play last night, and I said something on stage. I said something about like being old age and fat is rough, and so yeah, I went back you. into the audience, and uh, some guy came up to me and goes, "Oh my god, dude, good show." You're so right about being fat. I didn't even recognize you. I didn't even recognize you. Good God, you're so right. I, and I said, it's my birthday, you know. <laughs> it's okay. You are fat. This guy's fat. Look at him. No, well, You he said did not that I was that. sitting with your mom, which was surprising. I was like, oh, she, she was not happy about that, I'm sure. But Fuck her. <laughs> I haven't seen her since the uh, Mentos butthole video thing. Yeah, right. So, right. Um, yeah, she, she was like, what did he say? Did he say he's fat? He's not fucking fat. <laughs> that woman has shamed my whole life. No, I'm yeah, joking. Yeah, that, that's what she said. Yeah, so. well, well, she's going to get a good talking to now. <laughs> she's well, saying nice things to you. Uh, so, really quick, though, because we watched My Girl this week with Riley. Oh, yeah. And um, we it, we were watching the Inventing Anna or whatever that, right. ne- that that's Netflix show. That's how it started, that's, yeah. That's how it started. And Riley's like, well, I don't remember watching My Girl. And we watched that movie and it still holds true. And it's very similar to the story you're talking about where it's like, it's just the purity of like being a kid uh-huh. again, the yeah. innocence. Yeah. It was, I, it choked me up, not in the Thomas J part, but in other parts of it, I was like, mm-hmm. Damn, like, you know, you start, you're like, it got me. I was like, how many fucking times have I seen this movie? It's been it's 20 fucking years. Macaulay Culkin, Dice of Bees. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but it still got me. And it's, yeah, it's, it is the innocence. And I told Courtney, I was like, we, you know, we're all 41. Will just turned 42. Um, you know, like, we're like the last, we're the generation that had that. Mm-hmm. You know, where there was no cell phones and technolo- technology. Like, right. I used to have a black and white TV that you right. had to get up and crank the dial. Correct. You know, we're the last, that was like, we were like, whoa, TV. Yeah. People getting cable in my neighborhood was like this amazing. We had cable parties at people's homes. Wow. Because we could get more than the 12 channels. Wow. You know, so like, we were the last generation that like, you know, you see all the memes, you know, at the bikes all piled up in the front yard you're like that's how you know everyone was somewhere you know like where are all the yeah. bikes piled up i'm glad know? to be a part of that yeah I yeah am too. it's, it's I just am interesting too. i'm not saying that what's happening now is bad it's just it's changed that's it's a, just it's so just different big jump in uh culture oh yeah. absolutely yeah. because yeah. i mean you know you're absolutely right people don't even know uh telephones yeah. Yeah. Where we had to wait, and oh no, we were so happy that we got call waiting. Right. Oh, dude, yeah, and can't believe it, call waiting. Yeah, dude, call waiting was huge. Yeah, yeah. all those little things like, like our pagers. You know, we went through all of those things. Oh man. Um, but um, anyways, let's play another song and then just do get out of here. All right, sounds go good. Enjoy the rest of our day and go punk rock it up. Go punk rock it up. Courtney's got a pack, so um, I'm gonna do um, from our first band, Card Reader. I picked this song just because of what you're talking about. This song is called Familiar Voices. Aw. Look at that.
card reader. Yeah, oh, they're good. Yeah, huh? yeah. Familiar voices was that tune. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a good show. That was fun. Was Miss Jeff, fun. I wish he was here. I really wish he would have been here for the dream thing. Oh, dude, I think he would have. We got real quiet because it was like it was overwhelming. It was a little. I think that you should only do one or two because you just but hit think, us like bam. I think it shows just because they were so different. It's you know like it's I, not just one track. But let's like I told you guys like I do dream about a lot of um monsters and shit all the time. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, it's always like werewolves and witches and but that's like the kind of shit I read and listen watch on TV. I watch horror movies all the time. I really need you to maybe Doesn't think about though. some help. You know, I think so, I'm, I think it's healthy. Well, yeah, maybe healthy to. It's not like I'm freaked out about it or anything. I just thought <laughs> it was interesting. Well, you know, when people walk around uh, bum being fucked, <laughs> and like it's nonchalant to go to a wedding, I think there's something going on up there. Yeah, it was a big wedding. It was yeah. a big Jewish wedding. They're all breaking the glass and dancing. I was like, why is everyone just ignoring the bum orgy it, wow that's outstanding and why and at the same time why did california electric take so long to get me my parts like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all three things are happening at once wow so weird. but that's you know that's me too like i i watch tv and i listen to a podcast and i'll be oh man writing something at the same we're time we're now sharing an office space and there are times where jeb's like listening talking and like there's so many things going on and i'm like yeah. can you just stop like i'll have to go into the other room and he's like why'd you leave the room i was like because i'm doing a huge reconcile right now and i need focus <clears throat> well that's just i i don't know that's just how i get shit done problems. i get a lot of things done you do actually <laughs> problems. uh <laughs> problems uh all i know is that you do get a lot of shit done i i have um, umps was that the right word umps amount of respect for you umps. okay i don't know umps. what you're going for so yeah i don't know what we're let me doing. ask you something will this is up your alley i saw this weeks ago and i've been meaning to bring it up um do you know what the ghost army is Ooh, no Courtney? No. No. So I think I might have saw this on Sunday morning news or something. Mm -hmm. um, but let me just read you this little excerpt from Wikipedia. Mm. The Ghost Army was the United States Army Tactical Deception Unit during World War II, officially known as the 23 Headquarters Special Troops. The 1,100-man unit was given a unique mission within the Allied Army to impersonate other Allied Army units to deceive the enemy. Whoa. By the evening of June 6, 1944, D-Day, when they landed on Normandy with the 1st Army, the first of its detachments were in action against the enemy. By June 23rd, the unit was on its way home after served... Or 1945. The unit was on its way home after having served with four U.S. armies through England, France, Luxembourg, Belgium, Holland, Germany. During their, chen during their tenure, they put on a traveling road show using inflatable tanks... <clears throat> oh, sound trucks, fake radio transmissions, I did hear and pretense. They staged more than 20 battlefield deceptions, often operating very close to the front lines. I heard about so, that. So <clears throat> this story was kept secret for more than 50 years after the war until it's declassified in 1996. 96? Yeah. There was a PBS documentary, The Ghost Army, that came out not too long ago. Yeah. So I'll just give you a little rundown. You got to go check this out. It's wild. Yeah. They took inflatable... Yeah tanks and shit like so it's like the size of a tank and trucks and fucking buildings and stuff and they just blew them up with air and put them all over the place to look like they're like the, there's a huge army there mm -hmm. and then the germans came in and saw they're like oh fuck that we'll go around right oh. or whatever and we're able to deceive them brilliant <clears throat> i wouldn't believe that they could do that but brilliant and and with sound they would just like play like and no shit like way. just noises and yeah and it 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 worked. No, no, it did. I, I, I remember this now. The photos and the footage of it are wild. Like, did you a, watch the documentary or this was just, I just the news story? The, I saw the, like, the news clip of it I and see looked the it documentary. up. Yeah. yeah, we should watch it. It looks it, it's so wild. In the, um, the ghost army insignia is like a ghost with lightning bolts coming out of its hand. Ooh. <laughs> really? Ooh, that that's cool. That is really cool. That is a cool one. Yeah, so anyway. But you know what? That's interesting. They, they, they saved a lot of lives through right. uh, mockery. Or not mockery. Yeah, um, but... Um, imagery. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And yeah. that's that's fucking fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I, I was Although, say, can you imagine, though, going against one of the biggest fucking Germany uh, axes? Right. And yeah. going, hey, I got an idea. Yeah. Let's blow up Bring tanks. Bring balloons with you. <laughs> right? Bring balloons and sound effects. For sure. I mean, and then we'll just, 
I mean, I would have been like, I uh, would not have even thought about that. Bricks. The one of the generals had to be like, no. Like yeah. somebody had to be like, no, that's not going to work. They had to. No, not, not, not going to work. They had a big meeting about it. Yeah. <laughs> they had lots of meetings about it. <laughs> I, it's it's wild looking. And mm-hmm. this is back in the day too. You mm-hmm. know, it's not like. But um, then again, technology and shit back in the day, like she even brought up back in the day, you know, uh, communicating was harder. Yep. Uh, maybe, it, I mean, clearly, I mean, fuck. Remember, blazing saddles. It has to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. That was it. That was that was. I just wanted to bring that last thing up. I like it. Yeah. So um, we started our tattoo roulette group. We did. Yes. So everyone out there, go out there, Facebook, check out SLN Tattoo Roulette. Roulette. Uh, <laughs> uh, that soft uh, yeah, mouth right I'm, at the end. I'm actually creating a, a page on our our website just for it, so that you can click into the Facebook group. And yeah. people, part- people are joining. We're doing our first round coming up at the end of the month. That's right. Um, it's so far so good. It's been voted that everybody chips in on the tattoo. Yep, ten bucks every you know towards it, and whoever gets their name picked, you know, gets at least a little bit towards it. Yep. Until it grows a little bit more. You there know. You go. So that's it. Last thoughts, Courtney. Um. Thank you for listening. Thank you to the Aqua Dolls, and yeah, I hope everyone has a great week. Cool. Will. Thank you to the Aqua Dolls. Thank you, guys. That was fantastic. Uh, COVID, I'm not trying to be weird, but still wash your hands. Still mm-hmm. wash your hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, it's Yep. People are dying still. <laughs> um, so be careful out there and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful week. And we will see you next week. Cool. And if you're liking it, like it, please. Give us the subscribes and all the things. Follow us on all the social medias. It helps us out. It gets the word out for the bands, too. Yes. Uh, sounds like nonsense.com. If you're a band, you want to subscribe, 1 805 697. 7070 if you want to talk some shit. Um, that's it, kids. Yeah. We're out of here. Have All a great right. week. Yeah. It's gonna be a good one. All right. Shred the gnar. Yeah. Shred the gnar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Deuces.